Did we lose? Nobody. Everybody's back. Oh. You okay there, bud? Uh, uh, no. Oh no. <coughs> Do you need some Lysol? I just saw something posted on one of my other servers, and I clicked the <laughs> frog chat over oh. there. I popped in for like two seconds. I was like, wait a second, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> so, moving over to... I need the map yet. I'm still waiting. Oh, yeah, sorry, I got you. Uh, okay, I'll mess with this later. Uh... If that, I'll mess with that later. Um, that away, share your screen. Thank you. Thank you. But I was just going to go ahead and skip the second pudding's turn because it really wasn't going to do anything other than move. The second one of these fuckers? Yeah. yeah. Remember, no, I saw two no, of, I we are running, two running. Of them. We we are running, running. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> so first person, I already redid in, uh, initiative just to get things moving. We're also missing two of our significant damage dealers. But uh, Lilith is sorry, first, I'm right here, dude. And then Aurora is going to be second. I think you and I are uh, top. You DPS, still haven't. But... You, you haven't given us the map yet. It isn't showing it. No. No. I th I could load okay. it, but I don't know which map it is, so I'd rather not. There we go. DPT DPS DPT DP. Okay, DPT. that's what it was. Damage per turn. So you're no longer DPT doing at least the combat tracker. Yeah, so I'm not going to use Combat Tracker. Then I can make this as big as I want. Okay, it's sorry, a, who did you say well, was first? Uh, <clears throat> well, this is going to be first, followed by Aurora. Then followed by Uelia. Now, because the way this is, until you make a pseudo LV, LV's just going to share her turn with you. So you can have her go first, then you, or you, then her. Oh, why? Oh, because you're just gonna. It doesn't have a separate character thing for me to use. Oh, okay. Unless you're willing to. I can just give you an initiative roll every As time. I said, you know, unless you want to roll initiative, and then we can go from there. I mean, unless you feel like she should just be my bonus action. No, that's fine. Because it would just kind of short or would cut down on time. That's fine. Okay. Um, I had also, uh, Hexed, uh, yes. that first one. it was Hexed. Yes. Uh, with Hexed. Wisdom. To yeah. keep in mind. So I'll probably still be using the Combat Tracker for, like I said, the token, and for status effects, and buffs and stuff. But as far as keeping track of HP and turns, I'm probably going to use D&D Beyond. So what was Elvie's oh, initiative? Less. Oh, right. She needs an initiative, which is five. Um, 20. Okay, so after Lilith is Elvi, then Aurora and New Elia. So Lilith is going to bonus action disengage. Wait, which? Oh. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. You already used the crossbow, so I'm gonna. It's a returning dagger now, right? No, uh, I didn't do that because it'll melt the dagger. Um, one of them is a returning dagger. Yes. She does have the crossbow. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to reload her crossbow there. That'll be the end of her turn. So Elvie's turn. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I gotta move here and still. She's currently <laughs> flying, isn't she? Oh no, she's invisible, but she should. Is she 20 feet? Or no, she can't be 20 feet. The ceiling was 15. It's, it's like 11 ish. I might as well be. Jesus. Okay. So this thing would probably still be able to hit on an attack of opportunity from. Well, she's invisible. Correct. 
And this thing has an intelligence of one. Yeah. Okay. Then... Um, speed again? It's 30. And gonna take a quick shot at it. With her bow. And... Three plus... Wait, are we... Uh, Eulia, are we retreating backwards or forwards? Hmm, that's right, a good question. Because right now, um... But the thing is, we just don't know what's forward. I know this way... I know. I know anyone who's looking at my screen. That's a dead end. We've established that. But we don't South, know anything yes. past this. We don't know but we right. We do know what is this we way. We know left. And but... we know this is safe. So that's yep. my mentality, is go to what we know is safe. But we still have to, no matter what, deal with what's in here. So if we retreat backwards, we do, we're we going to have to pass them own. again. Oh, I'm not saying run away away. I'm saying get a distance from them. 60 seconds is starting. Okay. Well, sorry. Sorry, I already no, I... No, it's fine. It was... Plus 7, so it was a 3 plus 7, so 10 to hit. Yep, that did it. Alright, uh, for six damage. Six okay. piercing damage. Specifically, piercing. <laughs> it needs to be said. If I throw my rock fast enough, can it be piercing damage? <laughs> it is blood. I think it still counts as bludgeoning. <laughs> but is I mean, bludgeoning is safe. Turn? Yes, that is the end bludgeoning of... Bludgeoning is safe, you're good. Bludgeoning is safe. Bludgeoning is safe? Yeah, bludgeoning is yeah. safe. Oh. And oh, oh, highly oh, oh, suggested. Oh. Yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And electricity or not. So definitely yeah, get with and do it. Well, here we go. I'm going to you not go wait. Hmm. It's partially on top of you right now. Can I smash it with the rock in hand? Yes, but it's then it's going to so... splash everybody that's within five feet of it. Please don't hurt me. I'm already half down. <laughs> yeah, and if you get splashed... You're going to take more damage to your stuff. You're going to want to back up and throw it. <sighs> but remember, there's also black pudding somewhere behind you. That's why I, I, I don't I think just, we can see this other I one. Might yet, just, so. I might well, we can't, but we can just outrun them. I might just throw, I might yeah, throw the pudding. Could. Say what? No, I'm not going to touch it. Okay, uh... Run away, throw a rock. I guess I... If I disengage, can I use bonus action to throw it since it's an item? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Say it one more time, my friend. My apologies. If I use my action to disengage, can I use my bonus action to throw it since it is technically an item? Well, like, I, like the, the descriptor I changed, your free action with interact object lets you do a lot more, including throw an object in your hand as a free action. Nice. Any, any tap and brawler. Well, that'll be it. I'm going to disengage and do a flashy little spinning throw. Which oh, way are you going? Uh, to the right, and hopefully not where the other black pudding is. Like, there? Yeah. That's where yeah. I'll be go heading down with you, Aurora. I think I'm going to go back that way. Otherwise, we have to try and pass them again. Yeah, uh, but I, we have established that that's towards another pudding that hasn't shown up yet. Correct. Uh, oh, I thought it, okay. Don't go down. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was down. So the other way is a dead end. Uh, this where so, Brea is is a dead end. So yeah, like just, past Brea. Just uh, throw that out there. Like I said, you're gonna want to go towards Brea or towards Jarvan, or just run. <laughs> Towards Freya. One, two, like how far do you want to go? Just there. That's fine. Okay. And you're gonna chuck your rock. Yep. Is that a straight D20? No. You, you have uh, improv. You have use of improvised weapons, so you can use your proficiency bonus and your strength on top of the D20. Jesus. So, let me pull you up really quick. Yeah, I have so, the... So, uh, you I would get it... plus six to your roll, didn't it? Cool. 
and I'll just roll it with an attack roll. Alright. That is a 25. Woo! That Damn. absolutely hits! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what, what's the damage of a rock? That's, it would be 1d4. Oh, yeah. Lot, actually, lot because you have uh, improvised, it's actually one if it's improvised plus strength. But this is 1d6. My apologies. Okay. These are not small pebbles. These are, uh. Yeah, consider. I mean. These are, these are fist sized stones that you're chucking at full speed. <laughs> and that's five damage. You rolled a what? A five. Oh. Then plus four because strength. Nine. Yes. Nine. Good job. Oh. Much, better. <laughs> Much better. There we go. Yeah. Okay, I need we. A lot more where that came from. Okay. I picked up a lot so of rocks. I need to know what we're. I can't <laughs> really... Are we floor. are we retreating backwards or are we going forwards? I... I'd rather retreat backwards and deal with them one at a time. Okay. This is all above the board. Okay. Uh, uh, remember, you, Elia, you are blessed. Is it? Is it my turn? I didn't hear it was my turn. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay. Uh, got it. Uh, first, I'm gonna do is Misty Step. Ooh. And. Boop. You cannot see that spot. Okay. Then is here. Mm -hmm. You basically you your character. How about, how about next to Jarvin? Yes. No, nope, that's that's forty. But you can. Oh, wait, no, it, it, hang it's on. adding. On. Let me, yeah. Let me, yeah, let me cancel my movements. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, then from there. So basically, you see, Elia just like make a just a slight leap, and she just turns into almost smoke. Elia, yo. She just reappears right next to Darwin. What? And I'm going to cast Ray of Sickness. Ooh. Plus a D4 if you need to roll anything. Yes, thank you. Now, it, it's... What was it? It's hexed for which that? Wisdom. 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 This is a con save. Which is arguably the worst fucking one. Are you sure you... Uh, so I'll give you the benefit as... A nice DM. Are you sure you want to cast a con save spell against a monster that's strong against con? I don't really. I mean, I I don't have much. It's you know also what? strong against no. Strength. You you know what? I will use. I'll cast frostbite. I know it won't do any damage, but I will cast frostbite. Okay. What? Just because it takes zero damage doesn't mean it's not right. But it work. would at least give it disadvantage on the next attack roll. Nice. If it hits. Uh, if it well, it's a con save again. So go oh. to figure. Okay. Um, buddy. You need a fifteen con. Uh, let me look at its stats really quick. It's a plus three to con. It's a plus three. Right, but I'm seeing if it has any saving throws, which it does not. Seven. Cool. Uh, it takes. Nothing points of frost damage, but <laughs> it has disadvantage on the next uh, weapon attack roll. Does that matter? Yeah, it would be whatever. Okay. It, it, disadvantage I should have asked that before that, but that's that. Uh, that was bonus action. And yeah. I'm done. Usually the specific of weapon wouldn't count towards it, but I, I'm counting it. Yeah, Misty Step was a bonus action. Is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. All right, we are at strike, and then the pudding. What? So, <laughs> strike. Seeing what you and really I like just last did. Lane. I am also going to miss these steps. You got an initiative of five this round. Aww. Um, I am also, also going to miss these. Steps. I have a free yes, cast of Misty does. Step through my yeah, fade touch. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to miss these steps, but I'm actually going to go the opposite way, and I'm going to end up behind Brea and <coughs> Strike! <Aurora>. Strike! <coughs> grab your, grab your staff thing. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> um, I left it behind. So, 
Um, now that I've used that, I am going to, because that's a bonus action cast, which is amazing. I love that. Yes. Um, I am going to Toll the Dead. Nice. So that is a wisdom save at disadvantage. Bing bong. Why did I Bing give? Bong. Why did I give freaking? You less... said disadvantage. Disadvantage yeah. because of hex. Uh, hang on. Why did I give bless to the casters? Oh, bless works <laughs> on saving throws too. So. I got double twelves. So that's oh. ten and ten. Yes, he failed. So that's a D12. Right? Yep, it already has damage out. And it's not immune or resistant to necrotic. Oh, so. it seems like the pudding has drawn us in. That's this. useless damage. Right? What are you though? I got a two. Damn. Well, it all adds up over time, I suppose. Uh, I guess I didn't do anything, or uh, I didn't add this because. Stupid. I had so when I used silvery barbs, I never gave anyone advantage. Oh, so that's right. Out of out of all this, I'll give Mira advantage then. Okay. Because no one's take everyone's taking their turn right now. So Mira, you have advantage on whatever you decide to do next. Is that the end of your turn, Shrike? Uh, yes. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Ow. Gucci Meow. butt. The black pudding is going to fall completely all the way down. And the, the, the spike was there in that spot? Yes. And it's gone. Well, it's t it's taken one thing. It has a minus one to whatever it is. So I think it was a plus two point. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's not actually in the thing here. It's to what? Oh, yeah, it's a plus two pike. Now it's a plus one pike. Fuck. Like Mira burn. might, <laughs> Mira might want to grab that. Yeah, you, that was my plan. If Sorry. you're gonna get out of there, yeah. That's just to uh, interact with objects, so. I mean, technically, you can grab it and just throw it towards Jarvan or something. And Would it without still be using counted up... as planted and active? Say what? Would it still be counted as active if she grabs it and throws it to Jarvan? It will not, but at least it won't be a completely disintegrated fight, which I think That's is fair. more important. And I am kind of banking on getting that back to people for, like, what, 10 grand or something? We'll have to go back to the chat, I don't remember. Uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this thing has literally no intelligence, so it's going to go after Mira. That's at disadvantage. Well, that definitely Fine. didn't hit. Yay! I got it 18, but even with your... Buckler being a normal buckler, your AC is still 20. Uh, Actually, I I've removed, anything. so I put a normal shield on there. It wouldn't count as a normal shield. You might as well just remove the shield. Because bucklers don't give AC, you can just use your reaction to raise your AC. If that makes sense. The trade-off is that you can use your uh, your other hand freely. Yeah, which I need. Okay, sorry. You do you. But it, it tried to suit upon you and it missed, so that's it. So Yay next. for disadvantage. <laughs> Yay for dis- yeah, that would have been bad if there wasn't disadvantage. Uh, Brea. So she threw the her only the light hammer at him. Mm -hmm. Let me switch over to her. She's gonna 
She's actually gonna follow suit with Aurora. She's gonna pick up a stone using interact with object. She's gonna chuck it at his ass. But she does not have improvised weapons proficiency. So she doesn't get the proficiency bonus, so she only gets her strength. So that's tw dirty 20. But she only does one damage plus the so she does four damage, which is better than nothing. One, two, three. We're going to lower this thing's HP by four. All right. Jarvin's turn. Jarvin is blessed. Where the hell is he? Right at the top. No, I mean, I did <laughs> mess him. Oh, him as in right himself. Right oh, I don't know. He didn't sign up. I messaged him earlier, but he hasn't seen it yet. Uh. I'm always really hesitant about blowing people's spells when I'm playing for them. So I'm just gonna let him elf splash because that's a great spell. It is still hexed as well, by the way. Oh shit, I forgot to roll hex damage. You can still roll hex damage. Gee, but at least freaking this thing is an AC of 7, dear lord. Oh, so that's another four damage from Hex. Oh, go Jarvin! Damn! So with his ten, then you're four. Fourteen Dead. more damage. This thing is starting to, like, move really slowly. Like, really? it's becoming extremely sluggish. As you guys are just moving away from it and just pummeling it at range. Rocks, lasers, <laughs> Lasers! <laughs> You just, all these things are flying at it, and it's just like slowly losing its mobility and becoming lame. All right. Next pudding. Every time you call it pudding, all I can think of is fucking Suicide pudding? Squad and Harley Quinn. Oh. <laughs> Or alternatively, Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, because like every single fan fiction I read of Harry Potter, Luna is only about pudding. That's all she cares about. The other pudding starts to drain from the ceiling right Are there. Are we hearing slurping noises? Nope, it doesn't make any sound actually. That's, I think that's even more disturbing. <laughs> can you see the other? Yes, yes we can see it. Okay, just making sure they're both visible. I think I'd rather have the slurping sounds than no sound, you know? Is that, is that better for you? <laughs> Mirror, you're up. Thank god. No time! Why? Okay, um... You have advantage. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would you, like to take... You have advantage on whatever you're gonna do. I would like to take the pike. Is it... Like, is it an action or a bonus action to throw it to strike? If you're just swatting it, I just to like get it a wing, yeah, it sure. is a free action to interact with object. Yes, if you yes. are picking it up and throwing it to get to somebody, that is an action and a free action to pick it up. Strike thoughts. <laughs> 60 seconds of starting. See what you gotta do. Uh, I'll swat it and hope someone can grab it. Are you swatting it to strike to or are you swatting it in the direction of sh Ah, fuck it. Okay, I'll. Get it towards the entrance might be better. Okay, yeah, I'll swat it, it behind me by Jarvan and towards Jarvan. Yeah, I'll swat it towards Jarvan. <laughs> Throw it to Jarvan. <laughs> And it just kind of ting, 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 as it flies all the way. It doesn't hit you, Olia, but it almost hits you, Olia, as it lands behind her. Sorry, so got her. Okay. That means we all take a minus one to AC, anybody that actually had it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the little white thing I made there, that's worth that. Okay. Cool. There's uh, another one 
right. I would like mm -hmm. to um um while I'm right mm -hmm. there, I'm going to ding dong ditch the one that's right there. Okay. So uh, wisdom uh save at disadvantage. at disadvantage, please. So are you staying to get wrapped up in this thing or are you disengaging? Uh, I'm gonna let it get a uh, attack against me so I can shoot at it and then run away. Okay. Yeah, you I have advantage I, I still have my move. To... Okay. Well, she has advantage, but that doesn't matter when I have to make a save. Yeah. No, no, I know. I'm just saying for whatever she wants to do, she has advantage. Is what I'm reminding her of. Yeah. Um, what's the? What uh, it's to... only thirteen. But it does have disadvantage on the but save. It does have disadvantage. I have an eight. Yay! Which one of these is a D twelve? How long have we been playing D and D? Sorry, <laughs> it's hard to tell. Okay, I have to look at all of the signs. I'm just messing with you. Okay, so it is. Come on. Eleven points of necrotic, and then I GTFO. Well. How do you want the first one to die? Oh. Nice. Oh. This is for rough and tough, you big bully! And I want it to, like, start vibrating like jello and then just splat and, like, puddle. It just... Oh. And it just spreads out. Yeah. But instead of the black, it turns like a... It starts to turn like a lighter gray as it fans out and then stops moving. Kind of scary. Does it stay on the field? Does it like look it like we dissipate. don't want to step in it? Yes. Is the is what I'm more. That, asking, I, yeah. I could pick up what you're Doesn't throwing it, down. I got. You. As in, like, yeah, like if we step on it, you know, it's like, oh god, no, I got it, something it, under it, my shoe, kind of thing. What makes it dangerous is it being a no. I I mean, like, is there just liquid on the floor there? Like, it, it... it seems more like powder now. Oh, okay. Okay. I, um, just, don't worry about it. I, I will. I will deal with it later. Let me see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I want to go. Um, sort of. But just by uh, Uelia and Lilith, please. One, two, three, four. And that's the end of your turn? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Uh that that's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See we got this now. Jesus. Why did we let it like consume all of our valuables? Like what the hell? I have to set this dice on the side so I remember that's a D twelve. Alright. Okay, that's a D twelve. Okay. Oh no, are we gonna have to go back to the... Yeah, it's just easier to do that. So, my apologies. If everybody could roll initiative and then we're just gonna have to stick to initiatives again. That's fine. Ooh. Shrike got a 12. Is that. Those are totals, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, mine, yeah, mine those are totals. Total total total. total. Except for the custom one that I'm about to do now. So, Uelia is 13. Custom for LV is six. That, that one. Yeah, um, I know. Shut up. Uh, I mean, you know what though? Like that's pretty bad. Like I can free action sort of. I can bonus action move my hex. Yeah, you should actually. Oh, you uh, yeah, because your target died, so you can free action, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can bonus action move it to the. Is it bonus action or is it free action? Because your first target died. Until the spell ends. Also, blah, 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 blah. if the target drops to zero hit points before the spell ends, you can use bonus action. Oh, bonus action. Okay, I'm sorry. So bonus action, I can move it for free to the other one. But until then, it's not hexed. God damn, Lilith. It's God damn it. Seven to her initiative roll. <laughs> yeah. I need to get that because, like, if I'm gonna hex everything, I need to like go sooner. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, LV's roll is a one. Mm-hmm, no, Arden, uh, 
Jesus. Titan. Six. Stop scratching that. Titan is 21. Freya's is 11. And Lilith was 19. All right, Mine, now did you. Mine's 15. Today. Wait, did we roll our own? Yeah, roll your own. Okay, it's in chat. Mine's 15. Or it's in uh, D&D Beyond, either. So I got a five for the first pudding. Go we'll figure, I have something really cool for LV, and she's at the bottom of the fucking barrel. That's how it works. Ten for the... Do you know if you didn't have something cool for her, though, she'd be first? <laughs> Always. If you were like, I don't know what to do, she'd be like, yeah, but we're going first, so figure it out. Yeah. Pudding, is, pudding is absolutely last. So Jarvin's first. I am going to Eldritch Blast. The jump between characters. Oh. Ah. Like my dice. And I love rolling D and D beyond dice. That's so cool. Eight. Right. Good way to start. Oh, he has Ooh, the eight. blue potion. Nice. The dice disappearing. All right. Then Lilith. Jenny's over here, glug glug, guys, glug glug. <laughs> oh, glug glug, glug glug, dice, glug glug. Glug glug. I mean, you know what? Would it be so bad if we were to force something to drink this black pudding? You know, you say that. We tried to figure out how to get in it a vial, but it's like... But Uelia is going to take a sample of that. That's why she was asking about the Oh, it's powder now. It does not go through glass or stone. It's we powder can make... now. Hold on. I'm going to find a way. Yeah. <laughs> so, I miss the fact that it's powder. You're telling me we can make protein drinks out of this now? <laughs> Considering it was acid, I don't know about drinking that drink. But... Okay, look, yeah. here's the thing. Okay. I can mage hand pour it into something. I'm gonna have you well or uh I'm gonna have a little fire off her crossbow. Say what? I will I will duck. We Although I think she's a little power. taller than me so she probably doesn't need it, but you better not hit LV. Nah. Yeah Oh good enough. Does she hit? Yeah with a ten? The 21 to hit. Okay, I can't really see the rolls that good, so. It was a 21 she fires to hit. off another crossbow bolt from there. Like, yeah, she can definitely still hit that. Uh, next is Aurora. Aurora! <laughs> Get it! Get it! Throw your rock. Yeah. Mash that. Mash All that the rocks. Throw, Just throw, 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 throw the rock. Bonus action! Throw action! Rock. Interact with object. You're right. That's All the exactly rocks. what I'm going to do. Thank you. You're welcome. Double rock throw. Okay. Although I'm running out of rocks. You have ten rocks. What do you mean running out of rocks? You collected you a whole bunch one of rocks. Rock. You're, You're surrounded by rocks. <laughs> I literally had Bria pick up a rock and throw it. I got an eight and a sixteen. Eight and sixteen both hit. Yes. <laughs> so it's one d six plus your strength. Wouldn't that technically work out to two d six plus strength twice? So that's an Eight. Yeah, I mean the same thing. And a nine. So uh, seventeen. So yes. Math. Seventeen points of rock damage. Yeah. <laughs> Just you see her take one rock. <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you see it like as these rocks are hitting it, like the force of these giant stones smacking it. You just see the, the goo like clatter against the wall. Like... <laughs> Are the rocks going through it and hitting the other side? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, depending on the angle, sometimes they go into the ground and break apart. But uh, are you staying where you're staying? Or... I am. Oh, I'm gonna okay. Come and fight this creature. Fight me with rocks. Pick some back up. Hi, uh, present. Mira, <laughs> like to ding dong ditch that bitch. 
and so it's a wisdom not at disadvantage this time because I don't have hex. It's still only rolled a three. Yes, so. <laughs> uh, and this one is damaged, right? So I'm yeah. only rolling it here, but yes, it's been damaged by everyone so far. Okay, I'm so just that's... gonna do it over here just for the sake of doing it over here. This is not uh, count as this roll. Oh, that's I can't really read that anyways, so I just oh, need to. Not a worse roll anyway, so we're gonna use that one. <laughs> um, so that's a six, and there's no pluses, so six. Six damage. Ding ding, they're wedding, ding, the, the, like wedding church bells. Ding 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 that's ding. It's like vibrating, like jelly. Uh -huh. Um, and yeah, and. No, technically that was. No, I'm good. Oh. That that's me. I will stay in my position. Thank you. All right, Yolia, then Shrek. Uh, it worked really well last time. Mm -hmm. Gonna use Frostbolt again. Con save of fifteen. And this one's con save, right? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, Indeed. Indeed. Gingy said you failed. I can't see with your butt in the way. Gingy said you failed. Twelve. Yeah. yeah! Disadvantage on the next attack. No damage, so good luck, guys. I don't want to use my good shit. We got this. So, you're up. Uh, uh, can I ask how is this thing looking? I mean, of a, a quick assessment, it looks fine. Okay. Um, That's what I want to know. So, bonus action hex. Yes. Um, wisdom again. Yes. Okay. And toll the dead. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's a pass. Except it's a disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. Oh, you're right. Oh, why you why you do this to me? <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, oh. Like oh. that. That's why I do, because of shit like that. Yeah. Shit like that. <laughs> uh, that will end my turn. Alrighty. That brings us to Brea, who's once again going to do the same thing. Pick up rock. Throw a rock. Oh. That did not... Oh, wait. That's Brea's mother clucker. Do you need me to check? What am I checking? Well, I just keep having to flip plus three, so no, it does not hit. She was the one guy. Since she doesn't have proficiency in an improvised weapon, she can't get her proficiency bonus. So she missed. It kind of went in right when she threw it and completely missed the blob. She's going to duck back a little bit more. All right. Black Pudding's turn! Yeah, disadvantage on the next weapon attack. Disadvantage! There's a... Oh, yes, on attack roll. Yep. So, it gets... That does not hit. Although it certainly tried. Yeah! Just... Oh, damn. That would've ended up... I'm pretty sure that would've hit me, though. Uh, the highest roll I had was 15, but yeah. I'm pretty sure Aurora's armor is 15? 17. 17? Oh, never mind. That would, neither one would have hit me. Alright. Top of the round, Jarvan. Once again. Wait, did I get it my turn? Yeah. Yeah. You blasted it with ice. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Elvie oh, didn't get her turn. Oh, that's right. She had a one. We can do hers really quick. Yeah. Because <laughs> I had something really cool for her. Oh. Uh, she's going to cast Phantasmal Force. Ooh. And make a figure appear. How big is this figure? Sorry. I had it. It really doesn't matter how big it is. But anyway, it is right there. The creature... 
really game. It's a ten foot cube. That's what it was. Point it. Uh, that's. You can't edit it. You have to do it again. God, yep. mother, culture. And I'm just gonna put it right about there. Why'd you change it to triple F? Because it wouldn't let me just delete it all together. Ten thousand all four. My god, the text on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot, but I was reading through all of it, so... Makes an intelligent saving throw. Oh, that's a good one, the target. Yeah. I think it's minus five. Control the two, negative three. Yeah, that thing fully believes it's there, and it's an enemy. I don't know how this thing would react in the presence of something it fears. It only has mm -hmm. an intelligence of one. So I, mean, I imagine that it just kind of recoils as this thing appears out of nowhere. Are, does, can you read the rest of the sentence? Oh, While a target is affected by the spell, the target treats as soon as the target rushes. That's such an amazing spell. spell, though. Wow, it deals damage, too. An affected target is so convinced that the phantasm's reality that it can even take damage from the illusion. A phantasm created. So if you make it fire here as a acid. creature, which I am going to make it look like a creature. Um, like a fire turtle or something. Yeah, I'm gonna make it. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna picture our turtle for our tortoise friend, and just be like that. He's gonna be on fire. Oh. Okay, be because it tortoise. takes damage then. Yeah. yeah. Similarly, a phantasm created to be a fire, a pool of acid, or lava can burn the target. Mm. So, damn, it's that's be good. fire. Each round on your turn. Does that mean now? Each round is... on your turn. So is it? At... So is it like right well, now? Oh, it's Elvie's turn. Yeah. It is Elvie's turn. So each round on your turn, the phantasm can deal one d six psychic damage to the target that is in the phantasm's area within five feet. Provided well, that would be. Next turn, though. Okay. Can logically deal damage to the. Okay. So it just gets created. It doesn't even. Oh, so it just get created, to like... but the creature essentially believes it is a full-on threat. Full-on fire tortoise. Gotcha. I like it. Very good. Now, style. this does break Elvie's concentration, so back the fuck up. Peace, y'all. I think it's 20 feet. That might be off by... That might be a little too much for her. Gingy, you are needy she today. Is... Oh no, that's 30. No, that's perfectly fine. Oh wait, uh, I need to be able to see that, don't I? So she's just gonna hang out up here instead. I'm just gonna move out by Don't my get shoulder. her stuck in the wall again. <laughs> oh, she's in the wall. That's okay. fine. She can... Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, it's only doing that because she can't see shit. Cause she's in the wall. <laughs> uh, that was that was it. That was all I can do. Sorry, that took up a little time, but it's okay. It was that mostly one was a reading new the spell, spell, and I shit. figured it was kind of cool. That's really cool. I'll try to see if there was a turtle token, but there is not. Oh! I'll just use my square. <laughs> so rude. All right. Unfortunately, oh, wait. Do I have anyone as red? I have pink, so you know what. But is that the end of Elvie's turn? That is the end of that. Why did? Yes, okay. that is the end of Elvie's turn. Go ahead. You can you can ignore me. Okay. So Jarvin's up. Uh, once again. That is a hit. Yes. yes. Four more damage. Come on, Jarvin. Yeah, that was about there. Yeah. And then next is Lilith, who loaded a bolt. Next is Aurora. Aurora, make sure you back up before you hit it or it might splash you. I'm gonna... Yeah. It also has disadvantage at using a ranged attack in You're melee like close. Yeah, Disen so you have to back up disengage, first. Disengage backflip and stylish rock throw. Super Say sexy. What? Super Wait, sexy. Rock are you back oh, flipping over where, me? Where do you That'd want be hilarious. Uh, yeah, behind strike. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> Shrike is gonna see Aurora getting ready to backflip away and is gonna duck, make it a <laughs> slightly easier. Watch out! And stick a hand up for a high five on the way. <laughs> Do you want to get as far away as possible to throw, or is 15 feet fine? 15 feet's fine. All right, give me your, give me your rock rolls. Rock and roll, and bitch. Well, it'd only be one rock since I disengaged as an action, but worth it. And for uh, uh for style's sake, I uh, rolled athletics at 15. Nice. <laughs> the rock Does... rolls report refers to do you hit it and how much damage do you do? Does a 15 do mean that Aurora can high five Shrike on the way over? Sure. With the backflip. <laughs> That's a 20, 24 oh, yeah. to hit. Five. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Aurora's like upside down with her rocks. <laughs> and uh, nine damage. Nice. Very nice. And I'm throwing things better than freaking Paige did. What is this? <laughs> yeah, poor Paige. Oh, I don't know. Paige was a monk. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you didn't really build Paige to be a throwing. You <laughs> wanted him to throw, but you didn't build him to throw. <laughs> Damn All it. right. Is that the end of Aurora's turn? Yes. Then that would be Mira. Oh. <clears throat> yep, that's me, Mira. <coughs> would like to. You know what? Tell the dead's working great. I would like to do that again. Wisdom save at disadvantage, please. Yeah. Oh, that is ultra fail. Oh, you only need a 13. That is a yeah, but... 9 damage as it jiggles. Jiggles. Jiggles and wiggles. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. You guys are getting good damage on it. Right? Well, that's because it's freaking. It actually allows Toll the Dead to damage it finally. It was that last thing where Toll the Dead didn't work at all? <laughs> okay. And then um, we get the really bad scenarios where you know that saving throw doesn't work. Period. Yep. I'm gonna. Need like, it. You have Eldritch Blast. I don't know why you're tolling the dead. I don't have Eldritch Blast. It's not you. It's right. Yeah, but it does because, do twelve. Okay. Right, but. It has an AC of 7. I mean, okay, you're right. And you have Blast, yeah. right? You're right. Um, does Eldritch Blast, might... what is, how much damage? Hey, yeah, damage? Shrike has an Eldritch Blast. Shrike, are you okay? Shrike! <laughs> I've been holding the dead, okay? I don't know why. <laughs> it's D12, what does um, Eldritch Blast do? I'm not, I'm not Eldritch judging the D10. My Eldritch That's Blast why. is D10 plus 4. Oh, plus 4. You have Blast. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm staying where I am, so I'm good. Okay. That's me. That means Sorry. it I is had... Eulalia's turn. Eulalia! Okay, uh, I don't want to waste my shit. You don't so have don't to. You don't have so to. So far, you guys are doing good damage, so I'm fine playing I mean, fucking you, Do you still have Bonfire? Do you have. Oh! No. Bonfire oh. was created from my uh, all purpose tool. And to use it again, I'd have to do it but it only it lasts eight hours and i want to save it for the rest of this that's so fair. um do you have heals i do have heals actually i'm good until the end of the fight so. Oh, okay well. so i'm going to use frostbite once again and give it this advantage con save of 15 please so this time it's going to be plus three. Oh no Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, okay, that one. Okay, so that one saved it. That's fine. That's still a good thing. That's to use. Oh no, we can't <laughs> see. Oh no. Up, up, up. Why can't? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah. Actually, can right. I use a bonus action to pick up this thingamajig, the the pike? You can use a free action to interact with the object. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay. Yeah. Probably, probably shouldn't leave it on the ground. You are currently holding the pike. Okay. It's it looks way bigger than you. Now. You look very comical. <laughs> it's way bigger than you. It's very hard for you to hold in in terms of, like, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to attack with it, basically. Oh, I don't plan to. I'm just, just throwing that out there. But you're, you're done with your turn? Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Shrike, you're up. 
You are so blessed. Y'all want to call me out on it. D4, bitch. I, uh, I was just trying to understand. Don't worry. I want to understand. Forgot. I don't know how I forgot that I could Eldritch Blast. What? And I have to look at Eldritch Blast in order to toll the dead. Anyway. Okay, um, guys. I'm going to Eldritch it's, Blast. He's clearly sick, so he everyone clearly... just shut it off. We're going home. Yeah, no. I think... Dead. I think you need to rest. not feeling well. He's, it's yeah. just not our day. We need, mm. just need to go home. So that is a 9 to hit. It, it, it only has an AC of 7, so that hits. We're also blessed, cool. but anyway. That, that, the 9 was with blessed. Oh my god, oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> okay. Um, that is 5 damage. Damage! 5, five pink damage. Yeah, 5 fuzzy pink damage. Boop, boop. Um, or are you then... using your p fuzzy pink dice? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, the blob that is starting blob. to look not so hot. It's starting to slow down like the other one was. Good. This tortoise eat my it. Turn. I want the tortoise to eat it. Tortoise, fire tortoise, eat it. Are you doing anything else, good sir? Uh, no, that is end of my turn. Bria is gonna pick up another rock. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Aurora. In your free time, can you please teach Brea how to do improvised weapon? <laughs> so she can and know rocks. she absolutely missed. Ah, <laughs> this is why, Rora. You at the tortoise. You need to be her mentor. The tortoise would have... Oh, wait. Six... Oh, I didn't have three. So actually, that hits. Woo! Sorry. But it only does one plus restraint, so it only does four damage. But four is better than none. Woo! <laughs> Considering that I've been doing zero damage. <laughs> hey, you've been doing good. I thought I could have had her rage. No, no. But it was gonna waste her. But she would have gotten extra damage from her rage. But I, was, no. I didn't want to waste it on this. Uh, that means it is the pudding's turn. The pudding's gonna attack the illusion. The illusion laughs. <laughs> it's now Jarvin's turn. Jarvin is going to have his blast. Bless D four. Doesn't need it. Aww. Why did I bless the spellcasters? Ten damage again. Holy in shit! In fairness, it, was, I will, like, it has come in handy once. Yeah. Bless is always a good thing on any of these. Oh well, I figured because Shrike could see it, and the casters seem to be the only ones who are doing damage at it. Uh, to you it were at right the to give it to them. Unfortunately, I'm useless. No, you. <laughs> You'll come in handy next time, dude. Don't, uh, so... That, that was my idea. Don't yeah. Fire a We're bolt. gonna fire another crossbow bolt. Yeah. Oh. So she hit but me in the are, are we just using the mm -hmm. same initiative? And with the... Yeah, because I can't it re-roll it. Okay, I was just wondering. It works for me. Because I was like, I don't know if LV got skipped again. But no, she's the like last, With the last crossbow bolt that Lilla fires, the blob stops. No, I did a whole tortoise and everything! <laughs> Can my tortoise eat it? Can I command the tortoise yeah, to eat yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Your imagine Hopi starts making the imaginary tortoise try to eat the dust, but nothing seems to be happening. Aww. Lilith got the killing blow, no. she's not even here. Okay, well, it lasts for a minute, so I'm gonna keep it there. Actually, Can you move it? You That's what I was gonna ask. Can it walk? Can it blow without yeah, it can move it. As far as I'm aware of, you can make it do stuff until it wears out. Move it down okay. the thing. Uh, move it down the corridor. Hold yeah, on. I'm gonna... I have I have 120 foot of dark vision. I can move to the edge of the corridor and just look. Yeah, yeah but, but we're the, the tortoise. It can to... trigger any traps and shit too. Yeah, but I technically... was able to see. I was able to see the, the both. Of uh, the block. You go with you the wanna, tortoise, okay? Wanna, okay? Go okay. with the tortoise. If, if you want to go, but go a little bit behind it. Go maybe 10 feet behind it. Don't touch it. Yeah, I'll go 10 feet behind that way. What's, what's the radius of fireball? Uh, 120. Fireball. It's not going to hurt the tortoise. <laughs> no, but it would hurt me. And Did you know what? That's what something. The range of fireball was? No, the radius. So, like, if the turtle oh, um, hits a trap, that triggers a fireball. Oh. Hey, Tony, the, Oh, if the tur because well, it not... wouldn't trigger a trap. It, this is only—it's literally well, Are you no, sure because it only it, it only affects the, the some, it only affects the you... creature that it affected. Okay, so oh, that's it's fair. not real. In other words, we actually don't even see it. 
Aww. The only t the only person the only thing that saw it was that slime and, and Elvie. It's dead. And Elvie, yes. So okay. no, it wouldn't work anyway. Aww. Good shot though, because that was damn cool. Um, like, that was fuck. very cool. How about we can spend I... some time and we short rest? That's a good idea. Uh, can I? I know you said it was turned to dust. Can I bottle up some of that slime? Absolutely. So rephrase a little bit. Nope. Can, um, I know what I said. Touched, you can if, if put in your, uh, touched, I have two. It. I have two empty potion bottles. I. Um, you only can make her own, so you can have my own. I just keep I my have, potion bottles. I I have ten empty bottles. Oh. But in your other possessions, you can put vial of uh, black pudding powder. That's where I keep my okay. cookies. Is it just one? Just one vial? How many do you want? Uh, I'll go with two. Okay. <laughs> Just because oh. I'm not sure what I can make out of it, I'm assuming I can maybe make some. Nice I wonder if we can things. rehydrate it. <laughs> oh you no, know, I'd be able to make my own slime and just keep it as a pet. I, I want mean, that pet slime. When we get back to Bologna, I want that pet slime. So, Rehydrate it. Anybody who, anybody who wants food for thought, make a uh, religion check. Oh, shit. Ooh, Why religion. am I bad at oh, bad okay. religion? Ooh, that's actually not this bad. Particular that's religion not... role. Uh, I got a six. <laughs> I would do Is anybody that. even proficient in religion? No. Uh, no, I am not. However, <laughs> I think um, I got. Isn't it Jarvin? Jarvin's half proficient in everything. I took half performance instead in of religion. Okay. Because he's a bard, he has jack of all trades, which means he's at least half proficient. Wait, is he a bard? He's. Let's see. Yeah, he's a bard. He's a bard. Oh shit, I need to change this thing on my YouTube channel then. But, for roleplay reasons, he is passing as a cleric. Yeah, we're not supposed to know he's a bard. Well, that's that's fair. But, I mean, I have... Um, so, uh, in game, you have to treat him like a cleric, as we've discussed. That's fine. Uh, that's, how we, that's how we treat him anyway. Sorry, go ahead, Shrek. 18 for religion. Ooh! I'll roll for him too, just because. I'm sorry, you said record. two vials of black pudding. What was it? Powder. Black pudding black powder. Pudding Thank powder. you. Um, that's a flat roll. Like, there's no bonuses to that. All right, so we got a 15 for Aurora, Woo! 18 for Shrike, and a 17 for and Mirror. The one I would expect. I no took order. performance instead, okay? Nerd. Performance instead of religion. But so we're case, gonna take a little break. Is that what it was? A small thing. We can. Are you guys gonna do like a? We can do it in the dead end, like barricade it off with some, like people keep watching the dead end, and because then if someone looks down the thing, they won't see us. We're kind of like. Remember, short rest is uh, like four hours. An hour. Oh, no, it's, like an hour. it's an hour. It's an hour. Yeah. I believe Can, so. Do hour, I, hour and a half. Do I have access to my uh, bloodline yes. ability? <laughs> Yay! Something. Okay. I'm sorry. I forgot to finish typing that out. Oh no! Um, no. What, what were you saying about the religion check? Sorry. Okay. Let me do that really quick first, so I don't forget. But basically, for the three of you that it applies to, uh, feel free to share if you'd like to share. But like we'll share. It is said that all slimes, green slime, black pudding, gray ooze, ochre jelly, uh, the gelatinous cube. Oh god, how the gelatinous cube? All, all these sentient blobs derived from a really, really, really powerful uh, demon prince called Jubilex? Jibble Let me yeah. that right. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Where are you heading? Why are you heading? What's funny about Jubilex? Oh, <laughs> Jubilex. <laughs> Jubilex. <laughs> but basically, it's the demon, or, the demon lord of oozes and shapeless things. 
and is considered to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest, demon lord of the bunch. Dang. Which which level of hell is he? The last one, six six six. What? Oh, well, lovely. <laughs> um, you know what? I think we just declared war on uh, hell. Well, I mean, what are the well, chances I mean, these are his point, only but... two black puddings? I mean, they're probably not his only two black puddings in here. Yeah. Um, Let me make sure that I'm insane that I am correct. So, I have a... I, Mira um, will go around and help looking at those who are injured. Is anyone else injured besides me? No, I don't think... somehow came out with no damage. Well, she, I don't I don't know. Know. well wait a second, because the people who lost stuff or got degraded stuff should have taken 1d8. Yeah, at the beginning. I only took, like, two. Yeah. I landed yeah, directly I only, on... I landed direct people, damage, right. So yeah, people I only took damage. No one took damage, but people lost uh, temporary hit points. Oh, oh that's, that's why. Pretty much. Okay. Well, during this short rest, <laughs> since no one else needs it, Mira is going to sit sort of meditatingly and hugging her tail, and it just, like, swishes, and she starts to purr. And she just, like, meditates no during this short rest. Although my mic won't pick it up, but I learned to purr just for this shit, and it won't even pick it up. <laughs> I learned it. <laughs> nope. No. Are you hearing any of that? I didn't know. No. I learned to purr just for this and it doesn't even pick it up. <laughs> Aww. That was five YouTube videos wasted. <laughs> Stuff you're never gonna get back. Mm. Life right. is ruined. I'm trying to make sure that my information is accurate. I don't know where the thing went that I was using. But yes. He's supposed to be the very last one. The very, very, very bottom of the abyss. I, I remember going through all the abyss stuff because uh, my original patron was... Um, the fucking one of the hell people. Well, I'll find it in But in any case, people believe that all slimes derive from said demon lord. So, uh, is there any truth? More often than not, it being a demon lord and being derived from a demon lord, it's highly unlikely you'll ever get a slime to. What's the word? Cooperate with you. <laughs> so what I'm hearing Titan, is if we shush. hydrate it, we'll have prisoners of war. Yeah, he's not going to be a friend like the little cleanup slime at the our favorite bar. That is actually, while it looks like a gelatinous cube and acts like a gelatinous cube, what it is, is he? not a gelatinous What is, is he? <laughs> what is he? It's it's one made through magic, not made through how they're him. made. He's so cute. I like to feed him crumbs. <laughs> the barkeep doesn't like it very much. The barkeep, no, stop, stop doing that. But right. he's hungry and he likes it. What, what did I give you? Did I even give you the thing to have? Uh, your your switch, first thing that you were talking I'm, about. I'm actually gonna be here. Oh, Bloodline? I got it. Well, it shows Spirit Touch Bloodline, but I don't think... If you think... click on it, it says a few things. If you go whenever you would use... Whenever you would heal using hit dice or add your... Oh, yeah, but this is just a permanent effect. Yeah. So, your modifier is four right now? Three. Three. So, if anybody ever rolls hit dice and Mira is not unconscious... I can color and make it all better and give you three you free extra to the roll. Oh, neat. So 
three free heals. <laughs> say, while that's happening and while we're sitting and relaxing, I'm going to find a small so pebble. The turtle, turtle's gone by now. The turtle's right? gone. Yeah, yeah. That's not for the turtle. That's actually for something else. I'm gonna find a small rock okay. and use my magical tinkering and okay. record a tiny uh, message. Sorry, a message on it. Uh, that whenever tapped by a creature, the object emits a recorded message, which is just going to be like uh, alert or enemy incoming, something along that line. That can be heard up to 10 feet away. So that's what that is. Oh, so anything ooh, can is we use my up. voice? Alert! Alert! Warning! Enemy incoming! Warning! Alert! Alert! What's that? It's more. It's no more than six seconds long, but sure. Well, I just repeated again. And <laughs> yeah, again, but... it got cut off at one of the alerts. Okay. <laughs> alert! Alert! Uh, well... <laughs> which, which is more than fine. So, it, pretty much, if anything is sneaking up in this direction of ten feet, then I would hear it. As long as it steps on the tiny rocks. So whatever. let me roll. Let me roll. Let me roll. I mostly just want the short rest so I can have my shit back. That's so, fair. after a short rest, nothing happens. I'm also oh, gonna use... Fine. No, it does um... happen, though. If I get my no? shit back. What did you use to heal, Mira? Uh, what my hit dice. Okay. It's a short rest, right? We use hit dice. Yep, yep. You can yes, use but, hang on. Did, I get... did you use one? I used two. Well, hang on. Are we allowed? I was about to say, I could use close wounds instead of that. It might make it better. Hang on. I don't know if that's any better. Hang on. My healing thing is 1d10. If you are any oh, any no, any it's not that good. If you or any friendly creatures who hear points can't regain hit points at the end of a short rest by spending one or more hit dice, each of those creatures gains an extra 1d6 hit points. So before you do a second one, roll a 1d6 and see the, if that's more than enough. So it, be, it, should be, it should be the first hit dice roll, plus a 1d6, plus 3. Oh, okay. Because you're per and because of the... So when, question, when people sure. use their hit dice for a short rest, does that give them their maximum number, or do they have to roll? Anytime they gain, use hit dice from resting, they have to roll. So in essence, closed wounds would probably be better. What does closed wounds do? Closed wounds also uses their hit dice. Right. But it, but it also adds their constitution modifier. Technically, yes. It's that only is the one for me. That is that is the benefit of magic. Yeah, so I. But they should so, be getting their constitution modifier, rolling the hit dice as well. My hit oh, dice is they? a d10 plus. Yes. See this for me. Mm -hmm. If I go to short rest, it says one d10 plus one. Yeah. So you should roll your hit dice, which is the one d10. Mm -hmm. Plus one because of your constitution. Mm -hmm. Plus three because of the purr. Mm -hmm. And then plus another 1d6 because Jarvan plays his banjo. Oh, banjo. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yep. Okay. Also, before I forget, Josh, I'm going to cast Gift of Alacrity. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to give the the uh, pike back to Jarvan. Uh, not to Jarvan. To uh, Drake. Thank <laughs> God. I think Jarvan would like a pike. Um, okay, you know on the thing it says it's made for like um paladins, right? <laughs> well, clerics only, or paladins. Only a person that has uh, access to the cleric or paladin spell list can really utilize it. Full power. Yeah, it's fine. So I'm good. Uh, I'm gonna take a shot here, and I want to borrow Mira's. Uh, weapons, uh, her rough and tough. Okay. Okay. And it it probably won't work anyway, but I'm gonna think back to how Brea's mom helped me bring Elvie back to life, and that magic, and then see if I can do the same 
too rough and tough. A shot in the dark, but just using any arcane power, any arcane knowledge that I know, or anything of the Make sort. Make a to try to... check. I'm not proficient. I cannot help. Uh, 16. All right. From what you can gather from looking over her weapons, a great deal of the magic essence that was within them has vanished. But there's a little bit, just a little bit of a spark still left in them. You're not quite sure what that means, but... Can I try and focus my arcane abilities onto it and see if I can bring it out? The, the I don't know if it works that way. Is that while the sword is fine, the shield looks terrible. It has been very much eaten up. Like parts of large segments of this circular shield are missing. Is it not magical anymore? Correct. Neither of them are. Other than the little spark that you are able to detect from each of them. Fuck, I didn't take mending. <laughs> well, mending doesn't bring magic back to items. I know, but it would at least repair it back to full and then go from there. But, sure. well, at, I might be able to help out next after tomorrow and redo my spells. Hey, come lay down. Too long to okay. redo my spells, and we don't have that kind of time to for me to look through my book. Okay. I'm good. Uh, so for now, I can, yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can maybe do this anyway. But well, do that. You could say you spend your time picking up more rocks. That's, <laughs> that's actually probably a good idea. Say. Find some good rocks to take with you. Are, are you going to collect rocks up the ten again? Y yeah. Okay. Yeah. You collect up the ten rocks once more. <laughs> you now have once again ten rocks. Okay, uh, Shrike, you didn't... I gave you a spell for your thing, right? Yes, close mm -hmm. wounds. Okay. Yeah, so Mira took her rest, trying to comfort herself by holding her tail all sad. Yeah, you explain! Well, Sergeant I, Johnson, I I mean, maybe you murdered his two creations... Well, okay. there, there's still oh, some life in We might be able to get it back. So now I just have to tell them that it actually happened. It, there's still mm -hmm. some life there. We might be able to get it back. We just we might just have to talk to somebody more knowledgeable in Give the enchantment magic. field or in magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, from what I can feel, it still has life. And okay. From what I've seen of the nature of these, maybe you might be able to bring it back because of how you uh, they work itself. You using it more might be able to bring life to it since it seems to get stronger as you use it anyway. It, you might be able to breathe life to it back. It's just a, just a thought. You mean you're not dead? Technically, they can't die. Please kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> that's probably what the shield is saying. That's probably, what the sh that's probably what shield is saying right now. He's kind of a Debbie Downer. So, long rest? Good to go? Short rest. Long rest? Short rest, I'm sorry, short. I was about to say, you guys are short rested? Yep. What's next? Yeah, Shrike is good to go again. Um, I've got all except the one spell back. Actually, I technically all but two because I just used Gift of Alacrity. Oh, I pick I'm, up uh, that lantern that I set down because yeah, it was pointing down that one hallway so Lilith could see. I picked that up. I don't leave I'm that gonna behind. walk I'm gonna walk past that rock that I had with the message and just oh. tap it to remove the tinkering and then that's it. Who did you use Alacrity on? Myself. Oh, okay. Fantastic. My dick. 
No, oh, it's so good. It's not, it's uh, not concentration it either. No, it's literally for the next eight hours I get 1d8 added to my initiative. So, if possible, then, I was going to bring this up, if possible, I'd like you guys to get in the habit of knowing whether or not your spells require the three different things. Yeah. Verbal, semantic. I usually mm -hmm. look at that for that well, reason. I don't... What I mean is, I'm not going to push it onto you guys, you don't have to, but I just want you to get in the habit of doing it so that you're aware of what you're doing. So, if you cast a spell with a somatic thing, I want you to guys to actually say, you know, you're going to be moving your hands and verbally or verbal. I, I don't need to do that. What do you mean? Warcaster means I can... Oh, wait, no. It's... What? Warcaster just means that you can move your hands around while holding objects um... in both hands. Wait, you also have it? Yeah. Okay, you and Mira are going to both teach me. Yeah, I'll drag can... you into the dream world soon enough. Right now I'm working on <laughs> stuff in there, okay? The two of right. you. The you can perform the somatic can, oh, yeah, components with spells even when you have weapons. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. In so one or both, so I could get... No, I still want a buckler. Yeah, okay, so I still need to do somatic I still okay, like my buckler. Well, I, I need to do more flare stuff because my spells aren't technically supposed to be spells, but I'm going to get more into that as I figure my stuff out. All right. I'll... I'll the way I'm going to perform my character is she's going to be more alchemist, so all her I'm spells excited. are actually... All her spells will actually be potions. Yeah, that... Yeah. I'm excited well, it's, to it's see. Just in ge it's just for flair, nothing special. I'm excited to see it, though. We were talking about that shit. I'm excited. So what's next? Um. <clears throat> so what's our marching Strike order? Lead. Strikes in first. I want to be by... Strikes at least top two. Yeah, I want to uh, be... Just no. Something. Before we speak, only because I know Brea would be saying yeah. that if she was here, she'll want she'd want to be up front. Damn it, we mm -hmm. didn't get our misty step back. Sad. No, that's a long rest. Yeah, sad. I still I still have really good perception. So should I be like one of the like by strike? Yes. But someone has mm -hmm. to take this uh, hooded lantern and be by Lilith then, because she doesn't have. I I can do it. I Just can do give it. the hooded okay. lantern to Lilith. Actually, Lilith she has, has a, a ring. ring. Lilith has a ring that has Lilith my. But it's only five running. feet. It is only five feet. You are correct. That's but why I, I have the hooded yeah. lantern that like so it like shoots a light forward instead of all around. Oh shit! Sorry. So I still want her to be able to see, which is normally why I'm by her because we were non dark vision buddies, but now that I have cat eyeballs, I can see. Cat Cat eyeballs! Okay, I will. I, Shrike and I will be in front. So, and... I'm gonna undo the blur on the camera really quick because I want you guys to see this. Cat eyeballs? Cat eyeballs. I have cat eyeballs now. You, how do I undo the blur? You um, right click on your video, go down to background, click on no background. Okay. And then click apply. Look who's, Look who's sleeping in Jenny's arms. <laughs> Hi, Jenny! We love you! Hi, Jinji! We love you! So happy. <laughs> Alright, back to Blur. I mean, Ew. that just means Jenny can't move from there for the, like, forever. Yeah, you're trapped until you die. <laughs> My arm will be free. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad you can't move the it. True you, sign you didn't... Of somebody who knows their place in a cat's life. Yeah. You didn't need it anyway, right? Yeah. And when she sits on my lap, it's the same thing. It's like, well, I guess I'm stuck here. Okay, so we finished our short rest. Uh, yeah. Marching order as it was. So Shrike um, gonna... and me, uh, Mira, up front. And Uelia by Lilith. Freya up front as well, like right in second place type thing. Are we going like two by two, or are we doing? I'm like... saying two, two by two. So strike two and me two. first, because you have the long dark vision. I have good perception. I've got the long dark vision and can apparently be the only one to see shit. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. I'm Even still... when I point them out to you, that's more or less what I think is going on. Is what I have it 
right now. Shrek, uh, yeah, I mean, aside from yeah, Jarvan, probably good. being a little closer. Well, Jarvan said he wanted to sit further back than everybody. Yeah, so Jarvan oh, said okay. he's guarding the, yeah. He's guarding the rear? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, because if we trigger something, we're all in the group together. We're all gonna um, die. It's probably not. You know not. what? I have, I I have closed wounds, okay? So do I. So, I'm gonna say uh, that as we were kind of taking our long rest there towards the end, I would uh, just open my book and look through, kind of make a little potion, and you see me put two little eye drops on and That's a short cast. Uh, no, it's, I'm just saying it was through our rest, and I'll right. ca I will ritual cast a tech magic. Oh, okay. I mean... Everybody, everybody that has magical items, you see everything light up to your vision. It burns! <laughs> you don't see anything particularly, like, on the ground or in the walls. How about Mira's rough and tough? Like I said, just doing that makes it much more obvious. There's just, like, a little, little spark, like, in the middle of them. Okay, I got you. Like, the tiniest of little sparkles. Yeah. So this will last up to 10 minutes as we're walking by. So you can decide how long 10 minutes has been while we're walking and stuff. So. Sure. So are we continuing forward now? Yes. That's yes. our idea. Yeah. All right. Grab everybody. That's good. Hopefully Jarvan doesn't get stuck. I love when that happens. And so marching two by two. I actually learned a song that I was going to sing when we were like traveling here, but we took an airship so anybody who feels that their character would notice something of this state uh, something in this regard uh this would be a nature check more or less Ooh. uh would about... this break wait mm -hmm. this doesn't con yeah would this break my concentration no no yeah. okay then i'll do it um so this, will a nature check. this will be a nature check based on the rocks so, so Shrike, really... Shrike may not, however, my because I have Gnome out, he would. Okay. I mean, uh, if you want to justify it, you can. I'm just saying, if you really can't justify it, then this wouldn't be a roll 12. for you. I rolled a 12. Uh, I rolled a 10, so I am too focused on Detect Magic. There's nothing else out, so I figured... I'd be looking at the walls, looking for like, I don't know, something shiny. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty some, some kind bored of with. Or I'm, I'm pretty stuff. bored with this um, cave system, so right now I'm just looking for anything. But I got a 16. I'll use Jarvan, which is 17 minus one. He can participate in any roll. He doesn't know squat. <laughs> now use Brea. Because halflings just build their houses in the ground for the most part. Hey, 15. You do better than I did. I'm proficient in nature, son of a bitch. And then I'm gonna make Aurora do her. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. I was seeing if you were paying attention. <laughs> you still there? You don't have your video on, so we can't tell when you go to the kitchen anymore, okay? You need to check every once in a while. But, uh, even, when he, even when he goes to the kitchen, he takes his headset with him. Which say. is why I like the video, because we can tell when he's not there. How much and then just have him do stuff so he has to run back. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, basically, Mira notices. She doesn't know really what to make heads or tails of it. But Brea starts talking about how, you know, basically as far as the mine used to go was way, way back, like at the first hole. So like all this is, or way back at the crates, sorry, is where the mine originally stopped, where they stopped mining. Mm -hmm. So like all this was made, they're not really sure how. Okay, this is a really random group question. Sure. No. But is anybody else hearing? Okay, okay, okay. No, I didn't see Fred vote. The... Fred, Fred's Fred still vote here. Don't worry, you're not crazy. And I was like, is anybody oh, yeah, else he hasn't been playing me music? hearing Halo music? He's playing music. 
I oh, have it set so low. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I don't think yeah, Oh, let me turn it up. Oh shit, that's nice. Everybody can set the volume of their music. Yeah, yeah. I have yeah, it really low. You know, I set it so low I so I don't, I don't get copyrighted. Just, sometimes the battle music I choose isn't for everybody, so... No, it's, I, I just usually have it low so I can hear everything happening. Yeah. But I can still hear it in the background, but this just but, happens uh, to be a very quiet song. Anyway, continue. But uh, the, the main thing Mirror notices about it is that it's natural, but unnatural. Like, tunnels like these just don't occur. But it doesn't look like anything dug this tunnel. And Brea pretty much says the same thing out loud. It's like, well, while it doesn't look like anybody dug this far, it doesn't look like it was dug out. It looks like it just... Tunnel. Yeah. Tunnel. Secret tunnel. I'm hoping... Secret tunnel! Big tunnel. Big dig tunnel. Aw, you squished us all. We have become blob. That's fine. We it's okay. No, we know. You know what? We're we're really just a big happy family here. Yep. I do like how it'll randomly pop up and be like, "This character's on top of the pile now." Ah, uh -huh. Lilith. <laughs> ah. You are Leah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm looking for any shiny things in the rock. Sure. Well, because maybe. Maybe. I still have my detect magic up, so just you had to determine how long is ten minutes. It's pretty much worn off at this point. Has it been that long already? Yeah. It's going that slow? We're looking hey, for traps. You guys said that you were looking for traps. I said, sorry. That's fair. We don't know. Like, it no, obviously, fair, this obviously wasn't dug by a creature. It's just here, and that's kind of uh, suspicious. Well, then, you, that first few steps was not magic. You, there's three ways of movement either in game or in the map or outside world which is cautiously normal and basically with haste zoom so I'm moving cautiously gives you a better chance at noticing things but you move way slower and where if you move really fast you cover more ground but you might not notice stuff No, Jarvin, no! It's gone forever what? again. Rip. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Jenny can feel That's her it. arm now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Um, Is this a dead end? Shrike, what do you see with your almighty vision? <laughs> All I can think of is Legolas. What do your elf eyes see? <laughs> I look on the ceiling! Taking the hobbits to either. Now, as you get to this room, the ceiling opens up a lot more. It's probably closer to about 20, 25 feet, give or take. It's I checked to... the ceiling. It's I hard, can't hard touch to... the ceiling, guys. It's hard to estimate just strictly from uh, eyesight. Mm -hmm. I can okay. see the roof, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's Everybody. only 20 feet, yeah. Anybody Everyone except Lilith. 30 feet or more view range can see the ceiling. But you are the only one that can see... Oh god, this is going to be another one the of giant, crazy. The giant pits up ahead and the pillar in the middle. Um, where's the giant pillar? Do you have to click on Shrike Ualia to see his vision? Oh. There we go. Oh god. Uh. Okay, so is that like triangular obelisk hole the pit or the pillar i mean one way to find out which I mean, way do you want right. to go shrike do we just go well, north I, or do we go, want to go forward and north um, to make oh, the right. assumption that those are holes otherwise i'd be able to see them as in yeah. so, this that's a hole yeah i think that's a hole okay uh i'm gonna walk to the edge of said hole Shrike. Worst case scenario, I die. It's fine. I mean, worst case scenario. <laughs> we have a flyer with us. We can literally just. What? Okay. What is the worst that could happen? 
Uh, Why do you say that? <laughs> uh, you get grabbed by whatever lives under a bed, and then you're gone forever. <laughs> okay, so but what, I'm what the thing doing? that lives under the bed. I mean... Do we uh, check we out that closer, But east? I think LV, it, LV can go check anything out under... Like, if it needs to go lower, she can go, I mean, and I... she's invisible. Alright, we'll let LV go. Check out that... Oh, little... that's what she did. She cast Dancing Lights, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, that's what she did. Okay, I cast I'm sorry, lights. I forgot that. I think that's worn off already, though. Oh, no, that's long gone. We still have the I just needed hooded to lantern. add that. Yeah, I just needed to add that to the list. So she can yeah, I do not day. believe LV has dark vision, if I remember No, correctly. she does not. We have the Hooded Lantern. We have the Hooded Lantern and that ring that Lilith let me borrow last time. Yeah, she can borrow the ring and get yep, the and just take the so she'll take the ring and just go down. But the ring only allows five her... feet. Five feet. So it so means we much. can see her, but she can't really see shit. Correct. I mean, just to throw that out there. Means other things can see her too. Means other things can see and I'm only telling you this because you all would be smart enough to think of this. The ring will not be invisible and yeah. stuff. Like, really, really stupid slimes would be attracted to it. Okay. Hold well, on. Okay, idea. The slimes have blinds. The point still stands. Strike is just going to look over the edge. Because I'll yeah. still see slimes. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So is anybody following him, or is he going alone? Um, I, uh, I go, go. like, halfway <laughs> between the group and Strike, just in case. I'll go follow him. Anybody else? I give Lilith the Hooded Lantern back. Me. So she can direct where she can see. Aurora's also coming with us. So I said, did I hear Aurora? With that grunt. Yeah. Don't push him in, goddamn. <laughs> Shrike, like, leans down on all ha on all fours and, like, sticks a hand in to kind of look over the side. Spiders! Of the we know there are spiders! We know there are spiders you look over the spine. There's a lot of web from where you can see. It's it's basically at the edge of your vision, though. Like, these holes are really deep. Okay. Um, so... Do we uh, check out we're... bottom right first and, like, move our way up, or do we just go up? The thing to add in, though, is where you saw, like, some large amounts of web in the previous holes. Like, there is a lot of web, like, right at the edge of where you can see. Crap. So... Um, remember how we looked in the other hole and there was web? Yeah. There's more. Oh. Like, I can't see it. Maybe all. I could have a pet and spider! Well, I'm gonna suggest no. <laughs> maybe the babies are friendly. They We're just need handling. Wool. Sort We're of like baby hamsters. They'll bite you until you, like, get to know them. Here's the thing. We're gonna make so... a rule for you. No pets with more legs than you. Hmm. Uh... That's so, not fair! Well, <laughs> as it stands, they haven't noticed us. And we can't get down there safely anyway. I mean, we could jump and, you know, if it's really big no. spider web, then no, we'll just no. fall into the spider web. Maybe we'll stick, and then we just cut our I way down. And then... that at the last one, yeah, and no, y'all you, you ever been to those play parks with, like, the layers of crisscrossing bungees? And if you they just fall right, you just fall all the way through? I think we should keep going and find Do another have way down. Go north. Bologna? No. Uh, Maybe I'm gonna north. go look in the other hole. Let me see. How to the far... right or to the north? I'm sorry. To the uh, east the or one northeast? That, like, the, the like southeast ish. Southeast. Okay. South. No, so you're going. Yeah. yeah, I'm here? going to that one. I'm checking. Oh that shit. One now. There. Okay, mm -hmm. so maybe we go right. We go east. Okay. So oh, yeah, who's? Is everybody just still following? Yeah. Um, I'm staying. Yeah. I'm staying by the rest of the group. If they're, um, if they're staying over there, if Shrike and that group is just checking them out, I'm staying I'm where I am. Just having them follow the main group. Okay. I mean, not that close. That's so close. Some... Shrike gets grabbed. Everybody yeah, gets grabbed. Yeah, like with that. Yeah, <laughs> like that. I'll I'll See, go down. So where's Mira going? It, I'm in between the two groups. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, how far can Mira see now? 60? Mira, you notice that there is writing 
or something. There's some sort of markings on that large pillar in the middle. Can you point out the pillar, please? I can't see it on the map. Yeah, I actually don't see a pillar either. Is it the big blobby thing in the middle between the two holes? Uh-huh. Oh, that's okay. Where are at? This here? That's an- Guys, there's an obelisk! With the yeah. tower of you. There's an obelisk. Brown stone spire. Well, the next time I put Mitchell. The Mitchell, it's a brown stone spire. Mitchell. Stone spire. Brown stone spire. Brown stone spire. Walls on the map. I'll make sure that they're a little bit. That's like, well, that now now like that we're down wall. here, I can tell more because it has like yeah. a sheen thing on it. It's, it's hard to tell, but because make of it the brown. Women... Brown stone spire. Brown stone. I can't do Cecil's voice. Brown stone spire, ale. Basically, because of how it's designed, the it's basically blocking your view, which is giving it that look. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I see it now. Is there anything? Is there anything written on there? Can I get guys, closer? And guys, there's right there. The brown stone spire beckons. Brown stone spire. It beckons. I, nice. I don't know what's going on. What was the question? Sorry. I, I don't know, but There's apparently it's Brown guys. Stone Spire. Guys. Right, brown Stone to, Spire! Okay, ignoring her chanting about <laughs> Brown Stone Spire, we're gonna walk to the pillar now. Yeah, I wanna see if it's I can It's the Brown anything. Stone Spire. Is it possible? Ooh! Yeah! Like, are you gonna look at check, the markings she's talking? Check or, on uh, the obelisk. Yeah. Yes. I want to see if there's anything written on it. So hey, this is guys, this, this is more or less going to be a uh, Uelia and Strike right. working together, Delio. I'm watching our back because the brown stone spire getting okay, attracted. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you need to listen to Welcome to the Night Vale, okay? Because um, the brown stone spire. <laughs> Beckons. They cast friendly fire. Cast <laughs> friendly fire. I was so disappointed that there wasn't any mention of the brown stone spire <laughs> in the I'm Welcome to Night Vale live. I'm gonna cast I don't all care. seven of my magic missiles on Beer. <laughs> Every time you say it, you have to. Is, I cast fireball. <laughs> anyway, I... go on. Well, go you on, have to to fix this. Who has silence? <laughs> <laughs> no one. No, no one. one. Isn't that a high level spell? No! Oh, it ain't um, me, Chief. I'm a half cast. That's level remember? 2! I don't have level 2 yet. It's a tier 2 spell, if I remember right. It's a tier 2. We don't have that until level 5. Yeah, uh, I... Uh, I you a half caster stone! I will <laughs> have it. I technically have access to silence, right. but I also don't. So... Um, I'm watching behind us and the ceiling. So, with proficiency in Arcana... Expertise. Expertise. Shit. Think. Way to go, you guys. Nice and immediately, Shrike has come across a lot of this stuff in his travels over the course of him wandering, uh, especially at the bottom of the ocean bed. <laughs> but basically, this looks to be a brown a... stone spire. <laughs> Sorry. I'll mute myself now. <laughs> are, are we good? Uh, you got it out of your system. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not out of your system. Unless you muted. <laughs> if you want to say it one more time, I'll let you say it one more time. Brown stone oh, spire. Okay. Go, okay. <laughs> but basically, you guys see that this is a very large segment of what should be a part of a temple. No idea why it's a very large pillar all by itself where it's at. But. This absolutely belongs to a piece of what should be a much larger building. But, if you as guys in, like go ahead and go ahead. As in a, a building like for religious reasons? Or like religious? Well, uh, that's what with the Arcana check you're both about to do. Okay. And find out. Walk. Can we say Jarvin is checking? Can I set like Jarvin and um, Lilith to watch the pits while they're doing this, and Brea watching around the br sorry, uh, watching around the obelisk, 
and I'm watching the people. Like here? Uh, no, she can be further back. Just if anything creeps, like, is coming. Yeah, sure. She's watching the sides. Uh, Jarvan is watching west, Lilith east. I'm watching down and up. Because I don't like this. Does Aurora want to join in on the watch? Aurora, would you like to watch the bre- No. The, the, the what? What was that? No, nothing. I, I used my allotted- I, I used my allotted- <laughs> I, I, I love it. He's had a spell slot. <laughs> spell slot. word. <laughs> You're not out. You can say it. We gotta turn on the reverb. Do I gotta turn on my my reverb? Oh, Genji. What would you like to do, uh, sister? Or Aurora? Lilith. Good man. Aurora, sorry. Aurora, say it. Uh... Say it. You know you want to. I think I'm going to wander. Please don't switch party. All who wander are lost. I knew well, somebody was going to say that. I, I was waiting. What What's around the uh, the thing? Do you, you want to walk around it? Yes. Oh jeez! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so as they're taking a look at this pillar, as you're walking around, you're just kind of looking at the figures and markings, and it doesn't really seem anything notable. But uh, on the other side, it just looks like this pillar is just surrounded by this chasm, this pit. How does it stay up? Are you going all the way around? Yes. You should keep an eye on the other side. There just doesn't in case. seem to be anything notable. Run your, your laps. Friend. Run your laps. There you yeah. go. Some cardio. <laughs> sure. Yeah, cardio. We'll get some cardio in. <laughs> Don't get, don't do too much. You'll get exhausted. I learned that the hard way. Yeah. When I was the <laughs> spider monk, dude, the spider monk was crazy. She's just like, I'll just lead these guys off on a chase, and you guys figure out what to do by the time I get back. <laughs> so, wait, right? You used the uh, that is the D and D Beyond. No, I I rolled properly. Like I rolled on D and D Beyond. Oh, okay. Just I just seen the floor. Poorly. That's I seen the floor in the thing, but now that I'm using D D and D Beyond more, I can just look at the game log. D and D Beyond. I, I rolled a nineteen. So well, it's not particularly familiar to Trank. To you, well, yeah, this is this is a pretty big deal. Of course it so, is. It's the. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey can do it if he wants to, but not you. Rora, <laughs> you know this. You gotta put on your reverb, though. He always uses reverb when he talks about the... Don't do it. In any case... Paddles. You, Alia, after assessing everything, your her eyes would probably widen to the fact that this, these marking stuff, it seems to be like it belongs to a temple of Morden. That sounds familiar. I, I guess I would know what that is. Mira does that is no shit. The, that is the main dwarven god. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess I would know that because uh, I am half full. Wouldn't. Why don't we send our cleric to look at that since he is a dwarf and a cleric? But the thing is, it's not written in dwarf. Hell. It's not written in any normal language. Can I? Is it something I can understand? Let me double check to make sure I did look, because I did look, and then I want to make sure that I. Since the DM is on pause, brown stone fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, as a, I I set it up for you. It's written in primordial. Oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah, yeah. That is weird. Why would? So Shrek can read it, he just doesn't under- Dwarves he's not don't normally two speak two Yeah, I was about to say, the, the thing about it is that you don't know the reference to Morden. Dang. Okay, one sec. Cool. 
it, it, you're not particularly sure, but you're basically assuming is that there's a place where they kept all the offerings to give to Morden, to, to revere Morden. Thank God. So somewhere really some weapons and shit. At the part of this temple, there should be a shit ton of stuff. There should be a treasure trove. Should but be. The question is, where's the rest of this temple? There's no reason that. I said, but that's the biggest obelisk. I said, that's why the would biggest... just this obelisk, and who knows if this treasure trove is even real? Well, the thing is, is like this is like a frontal pillar. I don't know if you've seen, like, Roman temples, but they were held up by like giant pillars. Yeah. And like this is like the very, very front pillar, like where. The temple starts. So, where is the rest of the temple? Would I recognize this pillar from any other pillars I might have seen on my past? Yeah, that's mainly what draw you, drew your attention to it in the first place. Would the writing be the same the, as any? Plus, so you've seen uh, similar structures although degraded in the ocean, but it was also written in Primordial. Okay. If I walk around the pillar, is there any, like, other paths that I can see? Or yeah, I'm gonna, just... I'm gonna go around the other way of this pillar. Oh, that's why this pillar... So we are having this problem with the, with the vision of light, and it's blocking our pillar. This pillar that you yeah, so essentially with the fog, the fog of war is blocking. I mean, it just looks like blackness. We don't yeah. see a pillar. That's why like, you're not supposed to be able to see through the pillar. That's why it's doing that. That makes sense. So what it's blocking off like that? That means like that's not in okay. your view. Well, I'm saying we wouldn't even see the front of it. Is what I'm saying. Right, and that might be because I. You need to make it brown. No. Well, I, I, I now see. Well, I if I targeted myself, it kind of fixed it. So my dilemma know. is that I didn't make it brown. Put the edge a little bit away from the actual wall, mm -hmm. so you can just you can see what the wall is. Does that make sense? It, it got better once we were closer to it. It's fine, oh, Josh. Yeah, where, it's, it looks better now. If yeah. you see where the alley is, you can actually see the pillar a little bit, and then black. Yeah, it's better now. It's uh, fine. It, uh, that's what I should have did to all the walls, but that was my first attempt, so... Nah, it's all good. It works out, but, uh, mm -hmm. okay, so, do, do we see anything from the side that we took? Shrek took the right side, I took the left side. Do we see any any more writing or anything that we can read, or... So are you guys kind of talking back and forth to each other as to uh, what right. you're reading? Right, 100%. Yeah. So the only well... other real notable thing other than... The extremely long babbling about how great Morden is. Praise be Morden. All hail Morden. Morden is the greatest. All Morden hail the Morden. Mm -hmm. Basically, the only th other thing you can get out of this is that this also used to be a temple of resurrection. <gasps> which Dude. didn't mean it used to be where the dwarves used to come when they wanted Morden to save people that had passed away. So what I'm hearing is that we need to resurrect the horse. Right? Well, well, <laughs> well, how about we resurrect Morden? I'm okay with that. Hey, if he's up and well, running. I mean, we, and all we have I... is this obelisk. Where's the rest of it? Then? Okay, so if... we'll resurrect Morden. I will kill him and become the new I just, Morden. I just want to solidify that it's not an obelisk, but a pillar. Aww. But a pillar. Okay, so where's <laughs> an obelisk? Okay. So and a brown. Can I see the top of it, and does it go like floor to ceiling? Top of it is into the ceiling. Okay. It doesn't stop at the ceiling; like it's buried in the ceiling. So it goes um, further up. If I look if we out, find a way up, we could find more and see more. If I look I out across the hole, we're down. We are down. I mean, how do you we know? We know there's more under us. Yeah. So. We know there's at least cave under us, so the pillar could go down. We could be near the top, for all we know. It could. It could. Um, or maybe we're near the bottom. We, well, 
I would suspect we're more likely in the middle than the bottom. That's the pathway that we took, did it like, is it an even plane or did it slant down as we took our way here? Oh, I knew I was supposed to be telling you guys something this whole time. The entire path from where you started has been like about a 10 degree incline. Hmm. So okay, you guys yeah. are yeah, slowly going downwards. Okay, okay. My apologies, I should have said that earlier. No, no you're all right. We didn't need it until now. We're yeah, definitely either in the, even this in the room, middle. The two paths anything. that go around the pillar, they are going downhill. Hmm. Slightly. Hmm. This is all as the further so, you go hmm. into this map, it's all going okay. further down. So my question is, uh, this is actually the first time that the ground has been straight, as in flat. Oh, so this is so this <laughs> is straight here. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the pillars like this. Before we make a joke, the pillars like this. The ground you're on, and then the ground that goes around it is like this. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask. So, like, so the pillar okay. here is it the same level as this one here? He's not yeah, watching here. All, all the ground around oh, wait, the pillar is okay. flat. But okay. shrink if you look across the dark pit. North, that is lower than you guys by about. So we could jump it. You're saying like, we could evil can evil this. You could probably make it across if you jump yeah, across. No. Or I I go around me. this way. On the um, other side gosh, of said pit, do I see any like paths off shooting offhand? Based off of your amazing view range, you see right. a little tunnel going north. You should be able right. to see that, but it might oh, be. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, I can see it there. Um, there's a path over there, guys. Where? Okay. <laughs> I think you're on the other side of the pillar. I can't see where you're pointing. I, he's talking to me. Oh. Uh, I can yeah, hear no, you. Say, you. You I, can I, hear it. <laughs> I'd say to Eulia uh, that there is a path over there that I think, like at this point, the pillar isn't going to do much for us. Well, it's um, going to give us. We a should start, go down that path. If this thing is right, there might be good treasure inside this place we're flipping into. Kind of I sense. wonder if we get to the bottom if we can resurrect Rough and Tough. It's like a te you said to them both like resurrection, right? It'll bring him back, right? Can we hear her? <laughs> I, or sorry. is she just talking to herself? I can hear everything you're saying, and I <laughs> yes, don't I know you realize. Can, yeah, I know, but can we hear you? <laughs> you think you can do? I can do better. Do no, I'm, I'm asking you, you. Just... <laughs> Oh, can I'm we... sorry. <laughs> can we hear Mira asking these questions? I mean, that's or is she just talking to herself? I mean, it depends on if she's mumbling to herself or if she's actually saying it out loud. Um, I'll mumble to myself. Mira does not sorry, mumble. I, no, you're right. We I all know really Mira don't. doesn't mumble. Uh, Who are you kidding? Mira does not mumble. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'll wait until you're back and then I'll say it. Okay. Uh, then I think that passageway is a good way to check it out. We should maybe take a few steps back and see if we can find a way that you we can. You guys, they're talking about a passageway. Oh. <laughs> is, that a, is that a good idea to go down a passageway? And, uh, uh, well, I mean, we didn't creepy, really creepy look at the other... We can, like, go around. Uh, here, so... Or, uh, Circle of I'm gonna take. On the other I'm I'm gonna take like great the information the that we got from this pillar and the information that Shrike shared about his side, and I'm gonna open up my book and just kind of jot down notes and everything so, that okay. we learned from this. Most specifically about the dates and. I feel like I should make another chat and name it like quests or quest notes, and that way you guys can jot into it as you see fit. Hmm. That's what notebooks are for. Know, Although mine's only, like, like I don't drawings. Have notebooks, but... Yeah, but Discord is infinite. Paper is not. <laughs> hey, I started a new book for this, okay? Oh, no, okay. That was actually much yeah. more profound than he wanted it to be, Josh. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, oh, look, I have my yeah. wire so I, I just here. dropped down all that information for me to get back to whenever we uh, need this. Need to bring this up again. But, uh... I actually, I want to ask, does it say anything about where the treasure would be? Like, as far as what you were able to glean, it does not. 
Okay. It just mentions. It just mentions the that. Uh, basically, what you I was gathering, you were gathering from all my rambling, or all the writing, I should say, is that people came far and wide to give their offerings to the great Lord Morden. All that, all that leaves their material possessions behind here will find true salvation, and so on and so forth. Okay. So there might be a room somewhere with uh, now those valuables. Just following through with Shrike's behavior. You're just talking. You realize you're just talking to Shrike up there. You're not talking to yeah, us, yeah. Right? No, I know. Is Shrike <laughs> gonna peek over? Really, and Shrike are getting a good fucking bond going right I now. This is great. <laughs> I just imagine you both donning lab coats and eye glasses. <laughs> We're pinky in the brain, okay? So, <laughs> I mean, I have a book, brain, and I'm just writing brain, brain, stuff down. Brain, brain, brain. How long have they been uh, talking about this? You know, they've been there for a hot minute. I'm wondering if... I think I would uh, get bored and uh, punch the monument. Please don't are punch you, the you gonna walk up and the monument? Alright, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, I'm gonna headbutt it. Stupid monument. <laughs> it doesn't hurt you, but you don't really hurt it either. <laughs> Sturdy. So we hear a, a bonk. <laughs> all, of, you know, all of a sudden, you just hear the sound of mutual respect from Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody mm. else hear that faint sound of mutual respect? Okay, I think we should Is start heading towards respect? that that passageway. I'm just gonna ask, just based off Frank's previous behavior, are you looking over this cliff too? Yeah, I'm gonna be like, I essentially want to look all the way around. I found an old theme song I wrote for us, you guys. It's in between my pictures of me as a uh, goblin and uh, some like necklace me. designs. So, <laughs> when, when, you, when you peer over this edge, as you look down into the chasm, it might be a little bit far away. You might be able to get a closer look from the lower ledge. But you think you might see ore veins on the wall. You can't really make it out with black and white. As in from down, right in front of Shrike? On the opposite wall. Okay. So how about we There may or may not be things down there. So, okay. I mean, so well, I mean, we're heading down anyways. Let, let me <laughs> take my understanding here real quick. There. So because, yes. So am I right in assuming that if we were to start here, would this be going downward? Yes. And then essentially this in front Basically, would be lower than where we are now. The incline basically will start from where my arrow starts. Okay, so we're... that part would be lower. Okay. I think he said it's yeah. about five feet difference yeah. at that point. No, yeah, so we're going down. The difference in feet from where you are right now to the cliff Watch edge opposite of you is about 20 feet. Okay. Damn. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to walk around to the other side. Yeah, so we'll just start gathering everybody people, up. People and can follow me if they want to. I'm Duelia. going to run to the... Duelia! Hi, hi, hi. Duelia! Hi. If he's a god of resurrection, can you say fucking talk? Did so... you say that loud? Yeah, now that she's over here. Well, the thing about that no, is... No, I mean, he's... did he say the thing about the resurrection out loud? Well, we were talking out loud. Yeah. So... Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can even hear well, you whisper. the thing about that is... <laughs> Don't know supposed if they to be really dead. work in that kind of magic. Ooh, why is this thing not working? Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't know if they if the dwarves believed in that kind of magic that long ago, or you know, I mean, sure they ten thousand years ago. Ten thousand years ago, sure. I'm sure there was some type of magic, seeing as the, uh, dwarves are known for their forging and all that. But who knows? Maybe. Yay! But as far as enchantment, it's okay, Tom. I, I we'll think that's out of the hands badder. of dwarves. I, I don't we'll think dwarves really badder. dabble in. Do, oh, okay. Do a history roll for me, Ryu Uh, fourteen. So, especially given, actually, do advantage on that roll because of your parents. Okay. Secrets. Uh, uh sixteen. Parents. Oh, I'm sorry, eighteen. So. One of the things you know about your because of your heritage is that dwarves tended to 
I mean, they did enchantments on, or magical enchantments on weaponry and armor, but they more tried to master the art of making the item. So they were good at making. Right. So any type of enchantments were rather mundane, basic enchantments. Yeah. So they they either got like so something as intricate as rough and tough would be out of their thing. That is usually done by much more sophisticated methods and was very much a thing that the elves I was going to say that sounds like elf stuff which I'm also half elf. Wait, you're right? Uh, if, <laughs> if you wanted a intelligent weapon it, it was mostly done by creatures that lived long enough to figure it out, which are elves, liches, <laughs> and stuff that's super smart, like right. mind players. So, if I anything, know a mind player! I, I can I, ask her, Miss Counselor Lady, if she can help Rough and Tough. So, I don't know if <laughs> what we find here can restore Rough and Tough. At best, it might be able to make them stronger, but I don't think we're going to find what you're looking for here. Oh, okay. Are you going towards the edge to look where you were trying to look before? Um, are we gonna, yeah, I'm going to just take well, a look. Well, we're five feet down, so we can see if the obelisk goes 20. down. It's 20 foot. Killer. Um, yeah, obelisk. Okay, so first, um, I'm going to take Killer. a look and see if the ore vein looks more like an ore vein now, like if I can see any difference with that 20 feet. Now, the problem is is that you have dark vision, which makes everything black and white. Black and gray. white. Shades of gray. Mm. Um, so as you can tell by the thing, everything in the lantern actually has color. Yeah. And everything beyond that is gray, which is dark vision. So... As you peer over, now that you're 20 feet closer to the object, you can definitely make out that there's something along the walls that's not webbing. Okay. And um, based off of what Gnome is assisting you with, it does seem to be some kind of metal vein of some sort. Fantastic. But, but you can't really tell what it is from here. And the then... other thing I want to point out is that there is a creature that has not noticed you yet, kind of walking do along I... the walls. Well, do I notice oh. it? Yes, you. You specifically like, know that. In, in front, like inside the darkness there, in front of Shrek? Yeah, in down the pit, like at the very edge, like it's about 110 feet down, <laughs> walking, walking across the side of the wall. Days. Um, can I tell what kind of creature it is? Well, I don't think you would really know, but I will show you what it looks like. Can I see? Well, um, how, how far away is <laughs> it? It hasn't said uh, anything yet. Yeah, that's fair, but you also said it's too far, so I wouldn't be able to It's see 110 it. feet away. Yeah, that's out of my range. I'll have to read that later. Oh, yeah, um, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure to send it. Um... But more or less, it looks like this. Oh, fuck! Wait, what? Uh, I'm not. Oh, only Shrike sees it, right? Oh, correct. Oh my god. Um, Shrike is going to like wipe his hand over his face, like he's trying to school his features uh, that he doesn't need to do because he's a fucking warforged. But you do smudge um, your cheekbones and your yes. mustache. And Shrike is going to be like, nothing to see here, let's move to the path. <laughs> is that... What, what's, what are you okay. saying? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about I... it. I... Okay. <laughs> Alright. It it didn't see me, we're not talking about it. <laughs> okay. It's... So, should is we be strong? quiet? Do we need Don't to be loud. <laughs> Shrike is scared, Aurora. What is that? Shrike, Shrike is concerned. It's a Tarrasque, um, isn't it? It's a Tarrasque. <laughs> it's a Tarrasque. Down there, chains to the pillar. So, Shrike is going to basically describe it as a spider, but not fully a spider. Be a pet? Oh. <laughs> no. Something tells me no. It's are, are you fully explaining it? Cause... Yeah, I'll, I'll send the picture. 
Well, you can't see the picture because I can't see it. That's right. Okay, so um, it is. But if you're going to describe it, <laughs> from what I from what I could tell, and I yeah. was dark Can and you... all gray, it's got a lot of legs, okay. like a lot of legs, and Obviously. it's got a humanoid top half. I thought you said top hat. I got really excited for a second. Think it sounds centaur. like a worthy opponent. Think Would... centaur with a lot more legs. Would I know anything, That's so something neat. with what based off his description? Maybe... Damn, what? That's so neat. Yeah. Make a religion check again. Maybe he's okay. friendly and he can carry us down. Oh no, that's in that one. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I lost information. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure you were picturing Top Hat. I yeah, will... Top Hat. You, you heard Top Hat instead of Top Hat. Cent- you heard a centaur and a Top Hat with multiple legs. <laughs> centaur, and a, centaur <laughs> and a Top Hat. A, a dark elf and they get cursed by Lulf, the spider goddess. Oh. Never heard of him. So we're dealing with curses. Are we just going now? Do you want me to talk to him? No. 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 Um, How scary does it look? He's Um, in a top hat. How scary can he be? Well, just to throw it out there. Just to throw it out there for Shrek. Let me put this in the chat. In his chat. It's okay, buddy. I got I, I'm gonna run to the restroom while you do this real quick. Be right back. I love the party confetti when I type. <laughs> He's in a top hat. How scary can he Would be? Would I actually be able to tell that from this far, though, with it being, you know, shades of gray? <laughs> Mr. Mask can... has a top hat. It'd be it's not very scary. Different if it was, like, at the edge of your vision... Oh, it was in your vision. You can okay. see. Okay, so I can make it out a little bit better. I mean, the equivalence is that if you sat on your front porch, it would. What you're looking at would probably be across the road. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like you're looking at somebody else's house. Oh my god, the street. he actually has pockets. How did I not know this before? Mr. Mask has um, pockets. That's a scary okay. character. You be so... quiet. Mr. Mask is lovely. Um, I have a tattoo of Mr. Mask on my leg now. (laughs) I tattoo everything from our D&D adventures. You should know this after Merrily, okay? I'm not saying that it's not scary, but... It's not scary. Look at him. He's a lovely little guy. He's so cute. He's got the the spider-centaur thing. Um, has no apparent weapons, has no apparent armor. Well, if he's seeking, really we big. shouldn't bother him. We should just, like, continue. <laughs> and she, oh. um... I mean, ladies can pull off top hats, too, you know, that's not... So, was she moving around, though? I mean, that's solely off the fact that she has mammary glands, but... <laughs> <laughs> so you never really know, but assumption-wise... Biology, the top half is female. <laughs> oh, no. Based off what you can see, yes. <laughs> I can't tell how what gender the bottom half is, but the top half is at least female apparent. Sounds like we gotta find out. The other question, sorry? Um, can I tell if she was, like, asleep or if she was moving around? She was walking along the wall towards the southeast. Okay, so, and just minding her own business, or did it yeah, seem it like, she, like was she was with walking others? along the wall? Was well, there any sign of others, or just the one? That's the only one you saw. Okay. But that hole goes a lot deeper than you can see. Yeah. Was Is there any, like, sign that she's talking to anyone else? You didn't hear anything. Would I perhaps Did know I if... hear anything? Nope. So with Jarvan telling me that um, it sounds like the Dark Elves the, um, and Loth, would I know if they have their whole um, sign language thing? Sign language thing? 
isn't that a thing that dark elves have? I'm not sure. Not that I'm aware of. I think it's a thing. It is now. I'm all. I'm only mentioning it because I know it's a thing in the Drizzt books. If, if it's in the Drizzt books, then that is canon. Um, I just don't remember what it's actually called. Honestly, Unfortunately, I've never really read the Drizzt books. I should. I'll, I, I'll, I'll add it to them. my Audible list. Um, I don't see them on my list oh, here either. Josh, there's <laughs> definitely a series you need to read. Although, if you throw the boss monster of book one at me, I'm going to hate you for all eternity. Oh. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm back. What did I miss? Nothing! Oh, um, it's a lady in a top hat. Oh, So, okay. what we know is that the top half is female. I can't tell what gender the bottom half is. Spider half. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, How do you spell Drizzt? D-R-I. It's a very um, good series. I, I haven't, like, I, I'm more into... It's sort of like... Um, I in don't see world it in the official phone, in the languages here for elves, so I'm assuming it's not a thing. Okay. Um, so the, okay. I, I guess the question is, do we want to mess with it, or should we just continue on? I mean, she's well, just doing her own thing. That's kind of what I was trying thing, to figure so... out. Um, that's right, but I in no what about way can this tell tour? if there's others. That's fair. Uh, I say we just about... leave her alone. Well, Mira, do you hear any other thing? Do no. Do you even hear this thing? No. No? Okay. I think Jeez, our best they don't even have these in order. Just... Well, even then, I don't think we could do anything about this board, because I don't think any... Does anyone have a pickaxe? Sledgehammer? Uh, I, I mean, Brea did have a hammer, but it got eaten. Um, I could effectively move Earth. Huh? Can you fly around it backwards really fast and <laughs> make you go back in time? <laughs> yes. Nice. Um... Oh, it's a pre-order. So I, I, I do think our best option is to just move forward. Just move forward? Okay. But I do think we should take another peek at this before we leave. Um, uh, if I look uh, under where the pillar we is... Are supposed to be I seeing see that? Because I see it. You all see it kind of crawl up the edge, and it's she's definitely looking at all of you, and you're looking at her. And she's well, we shouldn't have just sat here talking. I, yeah, was in the, I, I, I fully expected you guys to keep moving while I was gone. Shrike didn't want to. He wanted to explain her mammary glands. <laughs> That's fine. Hey, but um, you, you all seem to be just looking at each other now. Hi, I'm Mira. What's your name? <laughs> do you do a gesture? Because I wasn't looking at your screen. Oh, when you do that? <laughs> you want a cookie? I made them. They're lavender flavored. They're really good. She just seems to be staring blankly at you. I found a link for you, Josh, and I sent it to you to look at after. I in take out... To the, the language that I was talking about. So does it directly translate to sign language, or does it just a unique version of sign language? It's it's a drow sign language. Um, it's quote unquote drow language. Um, it's silent hand code used to communicate in the underdark, um, and you have to see it to gather the meaning. There's no alphabet or written form. Then how does that work in the dark? They have dark vision. Oh. That's fair. I take out a cookie, and I offer oh. it in both of my hands, and I step up between us and the lady, and I offer a cookie so she can see I'm not holding out weapons, and just offering a cookie. If there's a direct implementation, because I was, I was looking for ways to implement sign language into my campaign, and if that's the way, then that'd be super cool. But Like, it's effectively their sign language. Right, but what I'm curious is, if, is the person who invented it, is it a completely different sign language? Or can I use actual sign language that we know in real life as the same thing? I mean, you can just... Do Technically, it. I can do it because I'm the DM. Yeah, but... that's what I was saying. <laughs> it's your world. Point being... Point being, I take out a cookie, get about halfway, and offer it in both my hands so she can see that I'm not holding weapons. Is this oh. the same one that I saw earlier? Yes. Okay. 
Okay. Well, based off of your appearance, it seems to be. I I set the cookie on a um. It's not a napkin. It's like one of those wax papery things that they give you when they give you food, like recyclable thing. Like so, I can set it on the um, ground and I back away. You should be able to see this. You can see the chat bar where all the rules are, right? Yeah. Uelia, can you read that? Um, that's fancy. Uelia. No, I cannot. I'm pretty sure none of you know this language. Comprehend language. I don't have it. Wait, what no. language is it? Wait, do I have comprehend language? I don't think I do. Can I even get that? Is it elvish? It is not elvish. Is, is that what she's saying, or is she doing hand gestures? She's she's speaking. She actually talks. Um, I tilt my head and make a gesture to my ears, and then like a shrug gesture. Would yeah. Elvi? She knows Sylvan. Nope. Okay. Isn't Sylvan water? I have. Shit? I have an idea. No, that's another. Wait, it no, may... that's another fairy language. Sorry. I, I have an idea, but it may not work, and it may backfire. Please don't shoot at her. I'm trying to make friends. I, I am not gonna cast a damaging spell in any way whatsoever. I... Mm. But Aurora, I please don't punch her. I'm trying to make friends. <laughs> I, I just want you know, someone consent in order to do it. I said, just so you know, people perceive the activation of spell circles differently. Indeed. So. Yeah, I gesture to my ears and make a shrugging motion. She takes um, a couple of steps forward, and you see her take her front uh, spider leg, and she just makes a line in the ground, and then she backs up. Um, I take the line in the sand. I take the cookie, and I slowly approach, like sort of hunch, and I place the cookie on the ground, and I push it over the line, and then I back up. How <laughs> you fool! She's crossed the line. Literally. I didn't cross the line. The cookie crossed the line. She kills the cook. She, she slowly walks up. You see her kind of inspect it. She kind of taps it with her leg a little bit. I'll take out a cookie and hold it up and eat it. Like, yum, yum, yum. You see her face immediately light up. <laughs> I'm making friends. <laughs> and you, you spend, after she, she's like. Okay. I'll take out, um, like, three more, and I'll go over to the line, and I'll push them over the line, and then I'll back up again. She immediately takes them, and uh, quickly devours them. I point to myself, and then my group, and then I point to the hallway thing that Shrek pointed out. I point she to my speak, uh -huh. She speaks towards you, but it it sounds like jarble to you. Okay, I point to my ears again and I make another shruggy motion. And then I look sad. She like, does yeah. this. When she sees you do that, she goes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I don't remember the sign for your welcome. I don't know if Mira would know the sign for your welcome. I make Mira, a bow. Uh, Mira wouldn't want know the sign for thank you. For thank you. you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I kind of tilt my head, and then I do a bow, and then I back up to my group. And Would then I, I know the sign language? I can't say that you, I know. Being a super book nerd scholar, I mean, there's a high probability you've I mean, if you want me to roll for it, I will, I'm willing to do it. Great intelligence check to see if you remember something like that or not. Okay, sure, let's go. Sorry, I'm not gonna bless you because uh, no. the spell circle might uh, scare 16. off my new best friend. Yep. Ooh. Does one of you have guidance? I do, yeah. but it causes a magic circle because it's verbal and somatic. Okay. 16. You absolutely 
it's not a very well known thing, but you somehow looks or learns the He's roboty to me. Give it a second, buddy. Yeah, give it a sec. You're I even um I'm still um doing the thing with the Discord, what is that? Server boosting, so we should be better than Oh we god, all of that just disappeared. Oh, he just he just reappeared and disappeared. <laughs> He's not in this chair anymore. It's like magic. To turn the light on. Am I good? That was good. Oh, Weird. It's slightly it's... better with the light on than it was with try, it off. Try I talking again. That's why One okay. sentence at a time. Testing. Uh. Testing. Uh. And just try again. Go ahead. But basically, <laughs> we're trying really hard here. Just. <laughs> Go slowly and I mean, like, we, just, just, just reset your Discord. Just try closing out and then join it back in. Yeah. Hang yeah, on. you're still glitchy. Try, yeah. Oh, just wait, close. no, no, no. Hold on. I think you're actually good now. Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's yeah, good. Yeah, you're good. All I had to do was start. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to type it out, and that's like fine. <laughs> fine, I'll work. I, I had to, I had to threaten it with, oh no, they're going to disconnect. <laughs> okay. But uh. Basically, through all your things, you've stumbled across books with this kind of knowledge where parents would learn these things to be able to communicate with their children that either can't speak or can't hear. So when she made that gesture saying thank you, you understood that. Okay. Uh, would I know to say you're welcome? You can. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look at Mira, and then show her the symbol. You, you have to, you have to let me know you want my attention. Oh, Mira. hey Mira. What? <laughs> Go like this, and then I show her the symbol. If you're welcome. It would be a lot better if I remembered what your welcome was. I, I, well, I mean, you can't see me doing Banyo. it. Banyo. So, plus, I don't know. Ba That's um, Wait, that looked bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, I showed, I showed Mira. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So, you're welcome is basically... Yay. Yeah. So I do that towards the nice lady. She she kind of gets taken aback. Did, did she see that I had to look towards my friend to, like, get... Yeah, she's seen... Okay. You will to do it first. Okay, so now I'm going to look at Mira, and then uh, I'm going to ask her to sign out. Mira, friends. while you're, when you, basically, what happens is you only shows you the gesture, mm -hmm. and you see it, and you turn to do it, and she's, like, right there in your face. Hey. Uh, and, so I'm going to add, well, okay, then I'm going to, I'm, mm, no, I'm going to keep my distance, because she's not all cool with me yet. So I'm gonna so ask got, me, I'm gonna I show Mira like I'm gonna show Mira the the sign of her friends and then I don't sure actually swear know word. I don't know either. Thumb in your <laughs> nose at <laughs> okay, yeah, don't you thumb your nose at if someone. You really, if you really if you really want to go into craziness with this, there you go. But otherwise that's what I'm gonna go with and just show Mira how to do it and then Oh, it's like something like, oh, this. There you go. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But before you even do that, once you say you're welcome, she's she grabs Mira's hair and she's just inspecting it. Like no sense of personal space. How long has she been down here by herself? I don't know. Is she by herself? Does anyone? I, say, know I think that's how... a more important. <laughs> um, Shrike is going to ignore is everything that's going back on. There, or is, are we moving forward? Um, Shrike is ignoring everything that's going on and is looking back down the hole for two things. Okay. 
one, I'm looking towards where the pillar is to see if I can see the pillar underneath. Well, oh, okay, I understand. Um, and then flipped around. Okay, and then two, I'm looking to see if there's any other enemies or any other of these things, um, or even like web or something, because clearly she's part spider. I mean, there's web down there, but you don't but see don't anything. Any other other than other ore spots, possible. You don't see anything else moving around. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Can, uh, can I have I, a question? Can I do a sure. like a? Can I do a sniff to see like if I can get her scent to see if I can like smell out other ones? Uh, okay, Shrike. Apparently, you can learn comprehend languages. I mean, but I guess you don't have that prepared. I'm wiggling oh. my nose. I can but. I can get what you're getting at, but. You don't really have a lot to compare it to. Well, but I'm getting her scent so that in the future... Right, but you don't... You don't notice anything of that similar kind of scent, I guess is the word? Well, but in the future, then I can use her scent. In the future, maybe, yes. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I'm doing for the future. What, what did you want to ask well, me? Apparently, comprehend language is something that can be learned by warlocks, so I'm assuming you just don't have that prepared. Uh, I don't prepare spells. I, I learn them, and then I Oh, you cast don't? Them. Oh, okay, that's just a thing. Oh, okay. Like I said, there's a set of spellcasters that they pick spells, and that is it. They don't mm -hmm. really get to change them. Then there's and a set of spellcasters. That, um, I have Chromatic Orb, uh, Enlarge Slash Reduce, Hellish Rebuke, Hex, and Suggestion. Okay, so bars oh, I don't... are also a thing. Would does Jarvan maybe have comprehend languages in his prepared. current prepared set? It's not something I can do. Let me see. Yeah, that's not nah, comprehend languages is bard, sorcerer, warlock, wizard. It's yeah, he's a bard. Literally me and James. I mean, do I, it. I'm just asking. Uh, he does not. He, he does, does not, not have a nice spell. Okay. Damn it! I can't learn it. <laughs> if we hit level five in here, I'll learn it. And her, I think level 5 is, yeah. I mean, Actually, no, that's a lie. If I that... hit level 5... Comprehend languages has always been a pretty common magical item or scroll. So yeah. that could be something to look into. There's a... People generally don't want to hassle with having to try and translate everything. So it's pretty common to see as glasses or... Yeah. Ooh, I, can I... I have a better option for when I hit level 5, actually. Tongues. Ooh, that's oh, a good yeah. one. You could, that is a good one. Well, so I try in common, hello, and then in primordial. Yeah, because I guess hello, comprehend languages just lets me and understand Turan, it. Hello. And I, I, she, she continues from your hair to your ears. She messes with your arm a little bit. She pulls up your tail. Like I take my tail back protectively. <laughs> but even when you do that, she just continues to inspect you, but she doesn't seem to respond to you talking. Hmm. What is it? Wait. Would, I take uh, this time to look her over and see, you really like... tell us that the sign language is based on kids who, like, people who wouldn't talk or can't hear? That's up to her. Uh, yeah, I, I would say so. If she's not responding to ours making noise, she doesn't hear us, she's deaf. She clearly spoke. Right, but... Okay. Uh, I'm gonna get a little closer. Um, I point over my shoulder. Like, I try and, like, get her attention by, like, moving my head. Uh, try to make eye contact. And then I point over I'm, my shoulder. I'm also gonna say that friends. I'm not gonna... As you go to point at Yuli again, so you're kind of turning, she grabs your tail to look at it again. Yeah. <laughs> Not the table. Are you continuing to move forward? Yes, I'm actually going to try and get closer. And then just... She doesn't leave. seem to be on guard anymore. Okay. So <laughs> I made a friend, you guys! You guys, I made leave, a friend! And then I'm going to do the symbol for friends. And, like, just look at her and see if she will respond or take or care about anything. As you do friends... 
I'm not gonna say that you're like proficient in the sign language. No, I didn't roll that high. Ghost. You know it's something like this. I'm I'm the yeah, I'm I know like the basics are like I can do one word thing. I can't do a whole well, ass. That's the thing. So she she's probably gonna start talking mm -hmm. to you. So Yeah. I think if you if you yeah, I'll give you, you, you a to, challenge. Okay. I want you to ro roll three straight intelligence checks. Sure. I apologize, I'm not going to guide you because I don't want to scare my new friend. Nope, that's fine. Three three straight intelligence. Straight. I believe in you. I mean, until, yeah, um, 15. Uh, that's a nut, eight. <coughs> and a yeah. 17. Nice. 15, it, eight, 17. That is a pass. You succeeded in two of the three. So, it's really, really difficult, but you try your best to keep up with what she's saying. So, when you do friends, you see her do her gestures and whatever or not, and she basically what you gather is that I I don't understand that I don't understand that gesture is like what she's saying. I'm just looking what back and that, forth between that, her and Yalia. Oh, okay. So so she doesn't understand what that gesture was. I'm finishing my cookie. She once again grabs like she really wants to know what that thing on your backside is. No. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pull one of the cookies that I have out of my bag. Those are my cookies. <laughs> I know. Those and then so cookies. Those aren't lavender. Gonna... Those are whatever I bought from that shopkeep. Yeah. So I'm gonna give one to her, but I'm also gonna give one to Mira. <laughs> cookies! <laughs> Yay! So that's what we needed, Mira. I, on the and the, I and split it I'm in gonna... half and then give half to Uelia and I start eating. She eats it with gusto again. She notices that it's a different taste, but she seems to enjoy it nonetheless. Do you have a name? And she kind of gestures, and she's like, basically, as yeah, she gestures, you is like, what is that last word? Do I have a... Look at you, Elia. Okay. See if she says it out loud. Okay. A name <laughs> is what people call you. Like, my name <laughs> is Uelia. Oh, I and point... This, and this is Mira. She goes, no one calls me, it's just me. Aww. Would you like a name? Sure. What do you think, Mira? Rest. So I'm assuming you make the gesture to be like, your name is, we shall call you Ressa. Yeah. Well, I, I get, I mean, that. Pick the name from mm, a book. You just pick it, just pick a name. That was me just actually talking. Did she not understand and any of that in actual tongue or? Do you, do you think you know the alphabet? Like, ABC? Well, no, I mean, like, that, what I was asking her was in tongue as in, and I was trying to see if she understood it. I wasn't asking her in well, language in sign language. Are you doing the sign language at the same time? Are you fighting the spider yet? No. <laughs> no. Uh then sure, I would I would guess I would try and and then do all that. But I was mostly trying to see if she can hear us. So when you say it out loud at the same time as you're doing the sign language to the best of your ability, you're basically like, we shall call you Ressa. And she goes Is it is it vowels that we can say? Like Snorlax? Her name is Snorlax. But she seems to be able to hear you. Okay. So is she saying it? Yeah. She said it five times. 
Okay, okay, okay. The, is I, it, I is it words that, that we can pronounce? She's literally mimicking Rasa. Common. Oh, Rasa. Her I said I wrote it in the chat. It should be in common. I I yeah. can't. It's so small for me. I can't. I'm. Oh. You, Elia. I I can't make this any bigger. It's a full screen. No, no. I mean, well, you need to say shit that comes up. Okay. I didn't to me, know it just looks like the rest. Of, the rest of it does look different than the other one. Yeah. Okay. So then I point to her. Ressa, Mira, Uelia. And I point to each of us in turn. She then points to Uelia. And ah. then she points to Mira. I do a happy little clap. I'm going to take out my water skin and take a drink and offer her some. After all those cookies, she's probably thirsty. I tilt my head in confusion. She shakes her head, but you're offering. I, I take a drink from my water skin and I offer. She drinks, and then she just like drinks the whole thing. It's okay. Cookies make you thirsty. <laughs> okay, uh, well. I think she's not a problem. So I think we She can... would have been if Shrike would have fired at her. I I think we can move hey, on. Shrike wanted to walk away, remember? That's true. We don't You were standing there talking for a have, hot minute though, dude. We don't have a good way to keep up conversation and I, I like oh, gesture so to me and Yulia and do like a circle behind me to incorporate the others, and then I point down the long tunnel. I then, I guess, use what I would know and then explain that we're going to go on our way. Her face comes kind of becomes more grim. And she's, she basically is like, I wouldn't do that. Why because not? There, there are large, dangerous creatures that burrow through the ground. Oh. Maybe that's the the thing. Maybe there's more than the one spit, uh, fire construct thing that we're supposed to cleanse. Do you know how to okay, say we uh, help? Well, hold we... on. Do you know of a safer way? She basically, through the signing, she basically explains, I've had no reason to go that way, so I don't. But in the few times that I was curious, the things are always there looking for food, and I plan on not being eaten. That's fair. Okay. Then, uh, I will say no thanks for your meeting. advice, and it was nice to meet you, Ressa. And the Ressa will come out in- She moment. kind of stops you really quick. She goes, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Uh, <laughs> he came from above. Her eyes kind of open, and she looks over. She goes, "There's a, there's a path." Yeah. A path. Yeah. That's like I nod. where we came from. And she's basically kind of saying frantically, "Like that wasn't there before. There, that there was no hole." Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so where we came from so I was uh so let's see. Uh this wasn't the way here wasn't it here before. To, yeah. She basically stops talking. Okay. Runs through. And she starts going out towards that uh Uh she went through my thing, so I would like to opportunity attack. Please. Oh my god. Don't be I'm kidding. Attack. I'm I mean, kidding. You, you could should, I am not. Should we lead her to the entrance and like no. tell her no. to stay no. by the ship? No. No. But, but. Yeah, uh, leave her be. Mm -hmm. She has clearly she's, survived she's, on her own. But if she Lift goes out there, they're gonna attack her. I mean, I don't uh, think she's gonna be leaving. Well, we don't want to lead her. She's just booking it. <laughs> 
swim He's not the moving more fast. I'm just okay. She's uh, like peace out. I'm gone. Well, okay, maybe we shouldn't say or okay. Let's catch up to her. Let's let her know that it is dangerous out. Also, it's nine o'clock. Uh, right. I was just, I was gonna let you just strike. Sign really? With you. Strike. Strike. <laughs> what? I just read. I just finished reading that. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly catch up to her as much as I can. <laughs> And... I'm not if you are going to catch up to her, yeah, I'm going to sprint. Can I we mean, at I'm least gonna... lead her? Oh. I mean, uh, it's not I'm that gonna far. I'm going to explain to her that it's dangerous out there and she shouldn't go. If at least not does, outside. Not, yeah, not towards. Yeah, she can stay in the mines, but she Wait, shouldn't. how far away are you guys? It's um, a, if you only goes to stop her, this is about. I'm following her. Well, she's not going. really moving that fast. Right, uh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand. I'm going to put a dagger in said Mage Hand. I'm going to go 30 feet, and then I'm going to throw the dagger the rest of the way and be like, here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. No, because then maybe yeah. she'll... Because if the, if the villagers I'm attack her, her then she's going to attack that. Okay, so you want to leave her without anything right now? No, I want to, like... Give. I want to like lead her out and then tell her to stay there till we get back. I, I mean, she's been doing fine on her own. I. I mean, especially. If she, I don't want her to get attacked. Oh. To go over it really quick. So you said it was dangerous. She goes. It's more dangerous out there than it in here. No, it's definitely not. But the people. <laughs> I. Oh, can I write? Oh, do you think anyone would see her and think to read a note that she hands them, or would they attack first? No. Uh, I mean, how do you think halflings will react? Because it's most likely she's going to run to a halfling first. Yeah. Brea! <laughs> Brea, do you I know? I don't think she should be by herself. If she... I, I do mean, you I think we think... should tell her to stay around here until we get back? Well, why don't we just take her with us? She doesn't want to go down there because there's scary things that melt through the earth. But we can... We, we, we can take her. Okay, so how... I'm going to tell her, how about you come with us and then maybe we can figure out a way for you to, to leave the mines. Oh. She goes, Do you promise? Yes. And and I look you at will. I look at her. She immediately starts walking towards. The oh no, <laughs> Ressa! Ressa, no, Ressa, no. Ressa. Okay. And I run up to Ressa. I want to take her hand. Which one? Um, one of. <laughs> How, I mean, she only has two people hands, right? It's like a human you didn't hand. Say people hands. Oh, I want to take a people hand. Said she's pretty high up, so that'd be okay. I'll reach up and um, do my best gesture and be like, "You stay safe, and we fight." Really, okay, uh, I was gonna. Oh, oh. I, I'll go ahead and just go like. Uh, you while you're doing that? I'm no. I'm I'm I doing mean, makeup sign language of just. I, I, charades. I'm behind her. I'm playing being, charades right now. Uh, be cautious. We're going to continue forward, and uh, you know you can stay behind us, but do be careful. If Ressa dies, I'm gonna be sad. Although Ressa I think dies, it's probably my fault. Is Ressa what I named one of my backstory characters? It's probably where I got it, it from. No. Gloria, Robin. I can't. I can't move. I can't move D and D Beyond. Not D and D Beyond. Can you move it down more? I there there it goes. Oh, there it wouldn't go. let me. I was gonna say it's like. I was in the middle of moving. It is probably the reason. No, I mean maybe that might have been it. No, Celis was the chick. Okay, so Ress is okay. Ress is the safe one. Okay, so yeah. So I'm hoping she understands that we don't want her fighting, or at least unless... Yeah, that's what it is. If you're moving, I can't move. Basically, she more or less gets it. But to wrap up the night, she brings you to this area and Shrike... The path just ends. Does it oh, go straight boy. down? Well, not only does the cliff go straight down. Wait. Oh, no. But Shrike can see the furthest, and yep. there is no path for as far as you can see straight. 
Oh. Strike walks off the edge. Shut up! God damn it, don't kill yourself. So, uh, if you have any new characters, Strike! <laughs> wow. But in any case, this is where I'll leave like. you guys with a literal cliffhanger. Oh no! <laughs> 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 You're so funny. Uh, 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 we call it a night, or call it a session for tonight. Okay. Mm. If we need to, if we need to jump down, I have a way down. Just saying. Featherfall. Yes. Unfortunately, it's only five people. Oh, bye bye. I think Josh, or I think James said he has it as well. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. He does have Featherfall. Yes. Um. So we can dual Feather. I have, I have a scroll of Featherfall, which should still work the same way, mm -hmm. and then which should target five people. And then I have Featherfall prepared, so nice. I can give it to the other, some uh, the other two people that need it. If we need, if we need to do anything. But I'm glad you all were able to come today. I hope you guys had fun, time. especially Aurora chucking rocks at slime. Rocks, <laughs> rocks. <laughs> I'm gonna have so rocks many to the face. <laughs> as a as a third. I gave you a lot, well, anybody who takes it, but mainly since you're the one using it, I was giving, trying to give you a lot of freedom with that. There's a lot you can do with... Okay, so Aurora, if we run into any more puddings, Aurora is shoved to the front. <laughs> literally an extra action. It's limited, but there's a lot you can do with uh, a free action with the ability to do actions within it to a certain extent. But in any case, hope you all had fun. Yay! Bye, friends. Bye. Bye. And for the time being, be safe until next session. Catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye.